men's hot seat match right now out there in the middle of nowhere. Really? Yeah. They played the women's hot seat match out there earlier. I didn't even know it was the hot seat match. That same guy that I lost to. Dave Scott. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I'm sure I met her blind first. Man, yeah. I love the old photo that you feel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Annalie is way too hot for you. No, there's nothing yeah. back in between them. She's made She's turned 100 years old, right? She's the nicest person ever. She's turned 100, you know, right? I thought she was there. <laughs> no. She knows you say all that. You say it all in front of her. I would have never talked about it without you. All right, guys, I'm going to find somebody to talk to, right? So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and commentate, do what I did earlier. I'm going to go ahead and commentate 61. So go ahead and tune into 62, which I already are, but I'm doing 61. So uh, open up that video, and uh, you'll hear what I'm talking about. Uh, a couple players, uh, Tim Doyle and Tim Baker. I knew, I do know Tim Baker from uh, Palm Beach. He uh, plays in a couple different leagues. Um, and Jimmy Doyle is from Port St. Lucie. Thank you. So yeah, so they looks like they just kicked off. Um, Tim Baker's at the table. Looks like there's uh, a couple different clusters and things to kind of navigate. <coughs> As it tries to get through this rack, let's see, let's see how he does. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess he shot a kick combination, 10-3 uh, for the three in the side. So it looks like he is elected to take solids. Um, don't really see there's too many issues. If he can get to the two ball, then, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, then he should be able to navigate through this rack, especially with where the eight ball is. The eight ball is uh, going around the seven six. So let's see how he does this. And he's a little off angle on the five, so I'd actually would like to see him. If he can get down table and slow roll the six ball, he might be able to navigate this rack a little bit easier. Looks like he might be looking at that now. No, he's playing the five all the way down. Okay, he's playing the five past the six in the corner pocket. That's where you just level out and you just hit the ball. Hit a little harder in pocket speed, top, and make the shot. Okay, good shot. All right. Um, looks like he's looking at the four ball to see if the four goes by the six, which I believe that it does. It looks like he has called that. We're going to bump that 12 ball out, so now actually he can shoot the 2 ball into the side pocket. That will be his best option now, and then once he makes it, we'll come a little bit towards the bottom of the table to make the 6. But now going from the 6 to the 7, that's what he's thinking about right now. Once he's shooting the 6 now and going for a breakout, let's see. was. See, I didn't like that. I thought if he would have shot the two ball, he would have been better off for a higher percentage of navigating through the rack. All right, so now he's going to have to see if he might be able to back cut the two ball past the 15. I can't really tell if it goes. If it does, he can cue the whole cue ball and use the bottom English to go into the 11-7 uh, cluster. Yep, he's calling the two ball past the 15. And this one of the shots where you just focus on making the ball. Jimmy. As uh, Gary was mentioning earlier, Jimmy is a player out of Port St. Lucie. This is going to be a race to four. I don't quite know if this is a winner side or a one loss side match. <coughs> so if the 13 goes by the nine, yeah, good shot. There it is. One. Past the 10, 14, he pretty much has all, all, his, 
all the options there. Shoot the line uh, into this high pocket. He's a left-hander, so we have a few things in common. <laughs> close to his 12 ball so he can actually draw the cue ball back towards the middle of the table on top of the shot line of the 11 because if he's on the shot line or to the right he's going to have to contend with the uh, 7 ball unless he draws his ball. It'll be easier for him to, uh, um, wow I didn't shoot at the 14, okay. So he's doing 14 eight. okay. Which is okay because it puts him down table to be able to shoot the 8 ball past the 7 so I can see him doing that as well. Now you can shoot this with inside and go straight down table and almost get on the shot line of the eight. Or you can try to come around two rails. But again, if he comes two rails, he's going across the shot line. So his speed has to be that much better. So when he made about going across the shot line, he overran the ball. So if you would have used inside, even a long shot, being on the shot line or along it, the shot would have been a lot easier. He might be two, three diamonds away, but he'll be a lot easier for him. So now he's got to navigate this rack. He's going to actually elect to now bank the eight cross side. That's where you just get down. You focus on making the ball. Drills it. Good shot. Very, very nice, Jimmy. All right. So Jimmy takes the first one, and uh, it is going to be Tim Baker's break. Wow, oh, great shot on that. Wow. Hey, Flip. Hey, gee, how you doing, pal? I'm doing good, buddy. I got you sitting next to me, so, I mean, yep. life is good. Well, you know, hey. Life I, uh, is good. Life is good. Any opportunity to talk to people that uh, typically can't talk back, I, uh, <laughs> I'll take advantage of them. Yeah, right? Well, I just got some good news that mm -hmm. um, for the ladies, uh, we have Sophia Mast and Jacqueline Jordan on table 58. Okay. That is playing for... Uh, third and fourth place, or third fourth place anyway. Mm -hmm. The loser gets fourth. Uh, winner moves on, and then after that, the the, uh, the next two semifinal and final ladies will be on the feature table. Nice. So that's we're certainly looking forward to that. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we've kind of missed out on some of the the, the big matches uh, going on, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can get them corralled back in mm -hmm. to the uh, stream room here for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, what is it you were mentioning? We have, like, some astronomical amount of teams this year that... Well, they, they said more. they have more teams than they've had in, in, in any previous year. Okay, wow. And uh, well over 100 teams in the three divisions. So then you, know, you have the bronze, silver, gold division. So, yeah, uh, over 100, well over 100 plus teams between the three. So... Usually they average in 30, 35, and they said they've broke the record, so that's really good. Nice. That is awesome. <coughs> cool. Yeah. And for singles, yeah, probably around the norm, maybe a few less, but uh, overall uh, pretty about standard for the, for the singles, I think. Nice. Excellent. And, and with that, I mean, we're missing several um, – Top shelf players really? and that did, did not show up this year, which is really surprising. Now, um, do they have a bronze division? 
the team, bronze, silver, and gold. Okay. So bro, there's okay. three That's divisions bro. for the teams. Okay. Cool. Correct. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, which is real nice. That's always, uh, you know, the team division is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, it's uh, designed for just that, uh, you know, your lowered skill, your middle of the field, and then your upper echelons. And uh, and everybody has a good time, and it's it's really a well-played uh, event. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, Tim with the thin cut hanging the ball up, giving Jimmy an opportunity here. Yeah, Jimmy uh, made a great run out in this first game. Uh, Tim uh, was navigating the rack uh, actually pretty decently, and he, um, he I think he overcut a ball, and then phew, and Jimmy came in firing, and he had a good good run out. So. Good. <coughs> Jimmy's a funny guy. He, uh, oh, he, he, he'll make a run out that makes SVB look like an amateur, <laughs> and then yeah. he'll make a, he'll miss ball in hand looking like Stevie Wonder. Uh, yeah. I've known Jimmy for a long time. He nice. grew up in South Florida uh, back in the day when. You know, Dennis Searing was, was not even a cue maker. Wow. I mean, uh, he knew them all, you know, and then uh, moved up to Port St. Lucie, you know, many years ago. But uh, I've known Jimmy a long time, and we've played together and hung out and gone to Vegas together. Mm -hmm. He is uh, he is a hoot, mm -hmm. and you just never know what Jimmy's going to show up shot for shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even like game for game or mm -hmm. day by day. It's yeah. like shot by shot. I know. But he... Uh, He's, he's, he's one of the best guys you'll ever meet. That's cool. Yeah, I always say that about my game, too. My, you know, game matches tournaments. My peaks and valleys are like three balls apart, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, uh -huh. Wow. Come on. I'm going to see him hit that shot a little harder to be able to, tr to uh, develop something from that 14 ball. So now he's going to have to figure out if he's going to try to play safe of some sort or... I don't think the cut's there. It might be. Mm, yeah, I like think it is. Now, this is a B division uh, match for the men's. Okay. Singles. Yeah. And they're getting down pretty far. Mm -hmm. I think they're probably in the top 12 anyway. Okay. So. Is this a uh, one or something match? <sighs> no, I believe it is a one loss match. Okay. Not 100%, but I'm going to go 85%. Cool. Confident that that is a uh, nice. one loss match. Nice. So now the shot line takes him into the five after he makes it. So I would like to see him draw away from the cluster because the eight does go clean. I wouldn't want to see him try to try to mess that up like that. Perfect wow. good shot. That ball on the side too. That was perfect. Yep. So now going to the nine ball, he can cut the nine if he lands good on it. But he has to go 15. Mm, the ten, ten three is a problem. Yeah. I mean, he can probably lay for the ten now. But he can't get below the shot Where line. Are you playing the ten? Opposite on this side pocket. I think it's froze to the three. I don't Is think it, it goes. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell if it's frozen or not. Yeah, I was thinking he'd play it in the side, but he would have to be to the right of the shot line to come down to where the chalk is to be able to play the eight, the nine into the corner pocket. Well, <laughs> Jimmy's at the table now, so yeah. <laughs> it's all irrelevant. I know. You're like, all right, Flip, stop talking the entire rack out. <laughs> <laughs> Go one shot at a time. So. Can you play defense there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's, a that's a strategic move there yeah. to block the pocket. Mm -hmm. See, now he can't really make the 15 very easy. Yeah. See? He's a smart player like that. <laughs> so now I can see him shooting this, drawing into the nine. Actually, probably rail first. Draw rail one. Nine, rail one and out, but I had to make the nine ball. Wow. Goodness. See, that, that defensive shot paid off. Mm -hmm. so now, what do you do here? Still have to contend with uh, the 310. Yeah, 310's there. Uh, can he thin cut the four in that side? He's playing the four in the corner, okay. So I can see him using a little left and coming around the cluster. You might work, try to get into the cluster to open it up a little bit. Well, we did. Wow. No, he missed the shot, though. Mm. Well, it didn't hurt. Uh, it did because he got a nice open shot on the 15, so. Yeah. Still has to contend with the 10 ball. 
That's been the problem the whole mm -hmm. rack to 10-3. Yeah, with that two ball there, too, it's going to be a little harder to uh, get on that side of the 10 ball to play it in this side pocket we're looking at. Yeah, I still don't know if it goes. Real, or maybe. Oh, he's going for it now. No. Oh, does it go past the two ball? I don't think that it does. No, he's playing in the nine. Okay. Yeah, right actually, he had a good opportunity to come right down into it, though. Yeah, and it's a straight cut, so he can't go real first and spin it in. So no, you don't have to. No. You just cut the nine, and you're going to come straight into the ten ball. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Center ball, maybe just a smidgen of inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too much inside. Mm -hmm. You hit it bad too, which is really a lot of inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Jimmy has a lot of opportunities here. Not a bad time to play safe if uh, if you can't get out. Ronnie McNary Willis checking in from Bradenton. We appreciate you, Ronnie. Hi, nice. hey, Ronnie. How are you, pal? Hope you're doing good. Are you going to come up for the team event, Ronnie, or nine ball tomorrow? Come support some of the uh, Bradenton Sarasota crew. So try to play some kind of a save. Maybe use the eight ball unless it goes in the side. Shot. There it is. I think he's got an angle to shoot that four and run into the three. Uh, maybe, but I, w I actually like him coming around and using the two to get to the three ball. Yeah, but what happens if you miss it? Then you don't have yeah. to back up. Wow. Oh, he missed both. He missed the four ball. Oh. Okay. okay, well, Tim at the table. goes to what would be uh, bottom left pocket. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he can... He, I think the cut might take him off the 10 and he might not be able to break it down unless he draws yeah. to the side rail. And with it being close to the to the bottom rail, he'll have to jack up a lot. Yeah, which really diminishes your accuracy. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, maybe not the best idea. I think actually just striking down center ball a little bit more angle will come off the side row and into the cluster. He's trying to go straight into it with time. No, he is doing that. Okay. Looks like it might be too much low English. Let's see. Wow. The shot. I thought he was going off the rail into the cluster. Well, That's a good shot. Maybe you were right the whole time. Maybe that 10 does go on yeah. the side away from the 3. Yeah, I think I see a little bit of a gap in the monitor here, so looks like it might go. I can barely see the two balls together and <laughs> talking about a gap. <laughs> no. You guys with your own young eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> figure out how to get on the eight ball. I think slow rolling it and trying to lay for the eight in the same side pocket. Oh, we played off the three. What a great oh, shot nice that shot. Was. And now he can play that eight in the bottom right, or the upper left, as uh -huh. we're looking at it. Wow. That was a good shot. Yeah, three. Very nice. <clears throat> Pretty clever shot there. Mm -hmm. He's done. Watch the, oh, no. Watch the scratch. Oh no! Watch the scratch. Watch the scratch. Wow! Okay. Oh, 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 oh goodness! My goodness! All right. I want a piece. That's the way to keep you on the edge of your seat. Yeah. For Jimmy Beckham. So, I'm going to step away for a quick second. Yeah. Get on the phone for a minute. No worries. Leave you with uh, Jerry, and then uh, we're uh, be right back. All, All right. right. Thanks. Cool. Thanks, buddy. So we're going to continue to watch this match. Again, we have some more uh, feature matches. The Sophia Mast, Jacqueline Jordan, which is on 58. As soon as that one is over, the winner of that plays Katie Bowes in the semifinal. This is a quarterfinal.
down to the last four of 73 ladies. So it looks like uh, Jimmy and Tim both took a break. So we're going to see if we can talk about uh, Jacqueline and Sophia. Sophia at the table. She's got a tough shot on the three and got to come across for the eight. that by much. on this eight ball. All right. Takes that game. I believe that's the first game. I don't know. Hopefully they're using the tablet. All you folks at home, uh, as the night wanders down, uh, get into the evening, uh, we will be getting some of these final matches down uh, in the stream room. They got ahead of themselves earlier today and kind of lost track. They left us hanging for a little bit, but we finally got them on board to uh, start sending us matches for all these stream tables. Hey, Ken, um, as soon as the Sophia mast Jacqueline Jordan matches over. The winner of that will play Katie Bowes on the featured table for the uh, semifinal. And I believe it's Yvette Fernandez in the hot seat of the ladies' match. So. Break by Jacqueline. Uh, something's down there in the ball make. But I think the cue ball got away from her. It was hanging up in the upper corner pocket. So whatever she shoots at, she's shooting it out of the jaws. Don't forget, last call tavern. We want to thank them for being one of our key supporters here. Sponsors of this phenomenal event. Hughes Handy Solutions, if you need anything done, give Hughes Handy Solution a call and they will take care of all your problems. And of course, you can't play pool without wearing your classic billiard outfitters. For all your dress and apparel, look it up, classic Q outfitters. And he's got a booth outside, and uh, i tell you what, he's got some nice. Nice looking clothes out there. Shirts are really nice, good quality. So get dressed up when you go to the Last Call Tavern. You really look like a player. 
go out and have some drinks and a good time. Oh, Jimmy. Made a ball on the break. Unfortunately, made a secondary ball and scratched. All right, guys, another good matchup on table 59, just getting started. Francisco Diaz out of the uh, Fort Myers area playing Takari Turnquest. Takari, the young gentleman from the Bahamas. He's about 15 years old and plays very good. Lost double hill to Dave Stem, who's, I think, now playing in the hot seat. So... Keep an eye on that young man. He is a force to be reckoned with. So we got uh, some really good matches underway. And Jacqueline Jordan, Sophia Mast. On table 58, Francesco Diaz, Takari Turnquest on 59, Jimmy Doyle, and Tim Baker. On 61, so. And I'll have a few more matches coming in on the other two tables shortly. Keep you up to speed on those as they come along. So, get dinner ready, get the kids put to bed, put them in the closet, whatever you gotta do. I don't want to miss out. We've got some good pool coming in there for the rest of the night here for you. Nice shot by Tim. Left himself a nice shot on the uh, 10 to get to the 8. Advantage, one of our key sponsors there, so make sure you look them up. Nice there, uh, nice help by Tim Baker. Very nicely done.
All right, uh, Jimmy Doyle coming to the table here. We're in his uh, safety f first shirt, bright orange. So you can't, uh, you don't want to miss him. You don't want to run him over going down the hallway or something. Jacqueline Jordan took game number one over Sophia Mast. Francisco Diaz, game number one over Takari Turnquist. And Jimmy Doyle trails two games to one to Tim Baker. by Jimmy. He's going to have problems with the 11 ball. That's what he's going to have to contend with. He's going to have to figure out a way to uh, get that ball. Find some kind of position to play on it. It may go in by the one into that corner. So. Top about four or five inches short, but he's okay there. I think let's go by the one. He just has to figure out how to hold for the uh, 12 ball. four ball to come down in the corner. If not, he's going to have to put a hell of a cut into the side. on that or a lot less. You feel right on the bad spot behind that six ball. It's a good shot on the ten in the side to cut that ball like you did. Side, that's all you can do. We're at that point. 
do or die for Jimmy Doyle here on this game. Oh boy. Not good for Jimmy. Tim's loving it. Gotta be pretty happy here. He was just about to uh, be knotted up at two apiece. Now he's gonna be up three to one here in a minute. Wow, well, okay. Right on back. So I'm gonna check in with the boss and uh, take a couple minutes. So, all right. Uh, let's see who's with us. Uh, maybe, uh, tune in or chime in on the chat. Let me know who's out there. Love to hear from you. He can get it from, get the four out of there, or can slow roll it and try to leave the four in the same pocket. Because of where the side pocket is and the angle of the shot, I like him hitting it from with a little bit of bottom English on the ball to take the scratch out of play. <coughs> All right, let's see how he does. Yeah, it looks like he's between shots as he's getting on the ball, so let's see what he does. You can just make them both. And Couldn't you know. hit that any better. Wow. I mean, that's like a dream shot right there. Yeah. I mean, and, and the bottom English definitely helped him do that, you know, putting a little bit of top in that well, four on, the, on the four. So that was a great shot there, Tim, buddy. And now you put Tim on the hill. It sure does. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. That was impressive. Nice. Oh, no. Oh. It's going to be Jimmy's break. Wow, what a great shot that was. It was an awesome shot. Candace Parkerson, Jimmy is playing Tim Baker. I'm not sure where Timmy's from. 
Tim Baker is a player. Oh, you said he was Palm Beach, right? Yep, yeah. he's from Palm Beach. He plays, um, has his own business in, I believe, Boynton Beach is where he's originally from. Uh, he plays out of Paradise Billiards, which is in Lantana, a uh, newer pool hall that's been open uh, a little over a year now. Um, but he's kind of all over the place. He'll play out of Grovers and uh, various pool halls and places around Palm Beach. Very nice. No, he really came with that. A good shot in that last game. Hit the combo perfect. He's both sides. Yeah, it was a great shot there. He got perfect on the eight ball. So. Um, over the Jacqueline Jordan and Sophia Master knotted up one game apiece. That is a race to three. Francisco Diaz leads 2 0 over Takari Turnquist. Takari, a uh, junior player from the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. He's about 15 years old, and let me tell you, his fundamentals are outstanding. And yeah, they are starting younger, I'll tell you. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's impressive. Mm -hmm. So did... Um, did Katie make it to Kennedy Hill, or is she waiting? No, she's, uh, she lost Double Hill for the uh, Queen of the Hill match, as we could call it. Queen, Queen of the Hill, yep, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, she lost Double Hill to Yvette Fernandez of uh, South Florida. Okay. I think Miami she's from. Nice. And um, so the winner of Sophia Mast and Jacqueline Jordan plays Katie Bowes to get to the final. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. going to be a nice guy. Maybe let Jimmy back into the match here. Jimmy trying to uh, sneak a game back that he gave away. Well, there's his opportunity. Wow, okay. It's a little undercut, but... see any issues. I mean, the four, he'll have half a pocket going by the ten if he wants to play it there. Um, seven was going to be an issue. Yeah, seven. Yeah. The 14 and the six and seven, actually. Yeah. How's he going to He might have the opportunity right now to open that up. Mm -hmm. six and or the seven past the eight in this corner pocket. But I don't know that it has the angle off the five for that. Yeah. And if the four goes past the ten, which I believe it does, I mean mm -hmm. you could do that now. Yeah, oh yeah. Um it's just that you know it's all about being confident in the shot. right back to where he started actually yeah. with even more angle on the floor. So now it's even a little tougher to get hold that uh, angle yeah. to get down to six or seven. No, I would try to actually use the five to get better on the four to come to the six seven. Good shot. Okay. Did he get there? Did mm. he get there? No, no. Right up against his work. Yeah, he, he's on the rail, so the seven ball is, is tough to cut all the way down the table from there. Yeah. Is it doable? Yeah, it's doable. You know, he might not have a whole lot of other options, though. He might have to just take a swing at it. Not for 
Francisco Diaz playing on 59. Is he from this area, Central Florida? He's from uh, over by um, Fort Myers. Oh, okay. So he's on the West Coast. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I know he used to be sponsored by uh, Bill Lister. Um, I believe it's Bill there, a um, custom cue maker. Oh, okay. Bill Lister uh, making some great cues. I haven't seen him in a while, but super nice guy. Yeah. I can't tell if he tried to call the combination. He called the seven, so he was actually playing it off the six. Oh, well, okay. Well. Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah. The only thing that does kind of save him a little bit is the nine and 11 being tied up. He's going to have to play a combo here somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's a good show by Tim. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he gets some. for the opportunity, you know that. <laughs> so. <clears throat> All right, so the combo is there with how close he is to his work. Now would be the time to do that. Um, I'd like to see him kind of draw his ball away from the combo after he makes it. I think he'll give him more options that if the 9 doesn't sit right for him, he'll have the 14 as insurance. I think the draw shot is the way to do it. Looks like he's using uh, high, so let's see how this happens. Oh, I missed the ball. You know, I mean, if he would have made that ball, he would have drawn the ball into the kitchen and been able to get out, but all right. <coughs> Sorry, Sir Jimmy, you're at the table. Yeah, he's still got issues though. That 7 ball, he has to get. Yeah between the 7 and the 14. Yeah, and I think that 6 ball might be the way to do it now. Slow roll the 6 and just go right between the 7 and 14. Oh no, never mind. I'm looking on the monitor. He has a much bigger angle than I thought. Good shot there. How to get there. Oh, wow. This is close. Okay. Try to pocket the six and uh, try to use the 14 as your target to run into the 14. Mm -hmm. With the cue ball to hold yourself in position. Yeah. Great shot. Great shot. Oh, nice. The only problem is he doesn't pass the 14, so going no. forward is. See, I, think, uh, I think him just slow rolling it, pocket speed down to the corner. He can either go in the eight to try to make something of the eight or go past it to play the eight in the side pocket. See, I would use high just a touch of left. Wow, okay, so he went into the eight. Okay. That was a good try. He just had to make the ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, he tied up to 14, so no. Tim's going to have to come with a nice shot. I mean, he's in a good position to get there, though, mm -hmm. because of the 9 and the 11. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Wow. Uh, Francisco Diaz leading 3 nothing over to Takari Turnquest. Wow. He's on the hill. Francisco must be playing really well. Yeah. Takari is a uh, kid's very, very accomplished young man. So. so here he just comes right against that side rail where the 11 is. That way he can just knock the three rails around the table. To, to open up the angle of playing the oh, 14 roost nice. handle. Yeah, Good he, he's got a great position there, uh, Tim. The only thing you can't do is get behind the eight ball. Exactly. Or come, come up short, so. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Mm -hmm. He hit it good. Okay, good shot. <laughs> yeah. It did very good. It looked like it might have been a little soft. So first. I like I like using bottom coming two rails back and forth to the same rail where the 14 is to play the eight where he's standing. 
Oh, maybe about a little while. Okay, so I'm gonna slow load it. I like your shot though. I like hitting that shot with a little more pace. Yeah, it just yeah. helps you confirm the shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like you said, to each his own. There's more than one way to skin a cat, as we yeah, say. Absolutely. And this is yeah. for the match here for Tim. He's, wow. he's putting it in the side too. Mm -hmm. It's a little surprised. I thought he would go to the corner. Yeah. Too. But I guess it's, again, shorter distance. Shooter's choice. Yeah. Nice Good shot thing. by Tim Baker. All right, Tim, congratulations. On Very it nicely up. done. Yeah. And, uh, With that, uh, should have a few more matches coming in here shortly. So as the night progresses and your dinner gets done, you get the make sure you get the homework done for the kiddies. Absolutely. You'll be ready to. Dial it in with us. And speaking of dinner, I'm going to go get a quick bite before Very we start good. our matches. We have our female matches coming up next. So yeah. get comfortable and go do what you got to do because I'm telling you, with the way these women are playing, it's going to be amazing. I guarantee you that. So stick tuned. We'll be right back with you. All right.
Hey guys, you see Katie B uh, warming up here on the feature table. She's waiting on the winner of Sophia Mast and Jacqueline Jordan. So that match uh, won't be much longer. So then uh, that will be the semifinals. All right, guys, uh, Katie Bowes uh, warming up on the feature table, just waiting on 
the winner of Sophia Mast and Jacqueline Jordan down on the far table, table 58. As soon as that match is over, the winner will come down and play Katie. Uh, right now, Katie is guaranteed third place out of this uh, 73 ladies in the event. She is the defending champion, eight ball and nine ball. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty strong. And so. Again, uh, Katie Bowes warming up on the feature table. Waiting on Sophia Mast and Jacqueline Jordan. Over on table 58, the winner of that match. As soon as it's over, we'll come down and play Katie. To get to Yvette Fernandez. Yvette is the uh, queen of the hill. She won the, she's on the winner's side of the ladies division. The only lady left undefeated. This is a double elimination tournament. Heat ball. Valley VNEA rules. So basically, just call your pocket. Doesn't matter how it gets there as long as you call your pocket. It is good. You'll see them using a, uh, there's a white patch on the rail. They use that to mark the eight ball. So uh, that designates the pocket that you're going to shoot the eight ball into. Kind of keeps everybody on the up and up. No questions. Nice shot by uh, Jacqueline. I'm just looking over at table 58. Looks like uh, she wins this game. It will go double hill. It is a race to three for the ladies. Uh, for Katie, it's a race to four. She is a master ladies player. So she goes to four. Um, whether it be Jacqueline or Sophia, they go to three. And Katie did uh, beat Sophia earlier today. So I'm sure she's, uh, it's a double-edged sword, you know. You're like, I already, I won, I already won the match with that person, so are you in their head? Or are you giving them fire to come back at you? So it's kind of a double-edged uh, mentality on how you want to think about it. Typically you want to stay positive and say, you know what, I've already beat him once, I can beat him again. But sometimes that motivates a, a player and puts a little extra fire in their game. So we'll see how it works out for them. Either way, we expect a great match the rest of the way out for these ladies. Top four ladies in the division. 73 players showed up. That's awesome. Over on table 60, we have Victor... Luciano versus John Reynolds. I'm not sure if this is an A division or B division for the men's. They're getting down to the uh, to the nitty gritty, starting to get it wrapped up. So, going back to table 58. If you're on Facebook and you want to watch the other tables, go to YouTube. And then uh, when you open it up, you'll see table numbers, so you can pick a desired table. Jacqueline going for the uh, cross bank in the side. Oh, she opted out for a nice safety. 
In her last match, she kicked the eight ball in it, and it was a great shot for the victory. So uh, we know she is uh, very, very, very capable of doing anything like that again. We had a good shot on Sophia. Sophia Young, 13 years old, and she's already one of the top players uh, in the state. She uh, she did really well out in Vegas um, a couple of weeks ago. She is really, really stepping her game up. Oh, so close. All right, well, she's going to give Jack on a nice shot on the eight ball to go double hill here, 2-2 two, two, and a race to three. So Jack on um, table 58. He has to cinch this eight ball for one final game. And the winner of that match gets to play Katie Bowes. Kevin Teschmeyer, what's going on, buddy? Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm kind of trying to play, but, uh, you know, I didn't do so well in the eight ball. Maybe I'll have a little better luck in the nine ball tomorrow. And the team events. It gets me away from the computers for a little bit, so it helps me get up and move around. Yeah, thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that. Tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying. We had some junior players here, and it's fun to watch these young players really develop into awesome players. And Sophia Mast and Dakari Tesh uh, Turnquest. Uh, you know, it's just fun watching these young players. They're so talented, and they're so. You can see their dedication and, and their drive to just be great. So it's fun to watch them. We're watching uh, Sophia Mast at the end there, if you're watching on in the black. 13 years old. And she's in the uh, top four of this tournament out of 73. She's on her way, she possibly uh, with a chance to keep going farther. Uh, 
Well, Sophia played a nice safety on Jacqueline, so now she's going to force Jacqueline in an awkward position. I don't think she has a very good offensive shot, so she's going to try to re probably return the favor and play a safety on Sophia. Kevin, she is definitely uh, fun to watch. It's fun to see the joy and, and, their, and just their hunger to play, you know, their youth and, you know, the energy that they have is fun.
o'clock, guys. It looks like Jacqueline Jordan has won the match. And uh, she will be coming up to our feature table next, so stay tuned.
All right, guys, got a good match here on table 59 for you. Wesley White, Francisco Diaz. Uh, Wesley White just lost the hot seat match to David Stem. David Stem is really pulling through this match. He's, his first match yesterday, uh, he started off a little rough, but he managed to get through it. And uh, he's grinding now. He's, he's in the hot seat match, Dave Stem. So. Winner of uh, Wesley White, Francisco Diaz, gets a shot at David Stem for the uh, big cheese. So that's on table 59. Um, we have the quarterfinal match, Katie Bow, Sophia Mass, that'll be underway here in just a few minutes. Sophia just finished up her match. Taking a uh, short break, and they're going to be underway. So uh, we've got some getting down to the nitty gritty here in these events. So hang tight, keep watching.
tell you what, this one, uh, this men's match on 59 is that's going to be it's a great match between Francisco and Wesley. <clears throat> Real good matchup. As all the other matches are too. I'm not trying to take away anything. I just I know both these guys. And they, you know, they're both kind of a top tier player. So this is a fun match for them. The winner goes to the finals. The loser gets third place for the men's division in the A di men's A division, I should say. We have uh, Tim Barker and Fernando Suarez getting ready to start on 61. That's for 5th, 6th in the men's B division, which is a very stout division in itself. And we also have Victor Felicio versus John Reynolds on table 60. Victor is up 2-0 over John. And this is a race to four in the men's division. I don't think uh, for Francisco or Wesley on 59, I don't think either one of them are masters. The ladies' division coming up. Katie Bow is a master. She has to go to four. Jacqueline Jordan goes to three. Brian Luke, uh, looking to sweat it. He wants to take Katie in that action. And Katie is the defending champion from last year, so uh, she's trying to really kind of hold her own there. Sometimes that added pressure is tough, but uh, I think if anybody can do it, she can do it. So that should be underway in a few minutes. So hang tight, folks. If you need to get a drink, uh, you know, let the dog out, put the kids in the closet, whatever it takes, so you're not distracted during the match. Now's the time, because we'll be starting off here in just a few more minutes. This is Gary G with Extreme Pool Challenge. We're live in Kissimmee, Florida for the 2022. West Coast Challenge. Back in a minute with you.
All right, guys, we are underway. Looks like Katie wins the lag. <coughs> so she'll get the first break. Jason, how you doing, pal? Good to see you, buddy. Jason Sherman in the chat with us on Facebook, yeah, of course. We're missing him this year. He's not here. Bluke, listen to you, pal. How are you, buddy? Congratulations on your freaking dub from last week, man. You, uh... You were playing solid, man. It was good, good, uh, definitely good to see. So I hope you're doing well up here. <clears throat> All right, we're about to get kicked off. Um, now this is going to be race two, four. Uh, Katie goes to four. Jacqueline goes to three. Okay. Katie's a master. Okay, cool. All right then. And this is Gary G with uh, Flip here with me. <clears throat> I want to thank Flip, Chris Philpelli, always spending time with us in the booth and giving us some quality expertise and observation of the match. And yeah, with me starting my new job, I'm not available as often as I like, but whenever I do, I try to make it around. So. Okay, well, here we go. Katie mm -hmm. with the break. 14, nope. Mm, try to break. Mm -hmm. so right out of the gate, we see the 11 and one's tied up. 15, three is a little messy. Four, seven, and the five and the eight. I would say I would probably like solid just because getting to the eight ball you might be able to navigate the break from the 113 better. But making a solid now. Hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling you're going to see a few of these balls being rearranged. Yeah. Here, so. yeah. But you do have to figure out which what your, your, your one ball is definitely a major problem. Ball the nine is going to be a little bit of an issue. So right out of the gate, you know, you have some problems that you have to contend with. This is that if he, if she can um, get the 1511 taken care of now, then uh, she can probably utilize the 13 for her key on the 8 after the 10. So let's see how she ends up doing this. The 9 doesn't quite go in that side, so let's see. The cup ball is there, but with that angle. She's going to be hitting the one ball square in the face, which might keep it there after it contacts and kind of try and double kiss the cue ball out if she goes for that shot. No, nope, she's playing the 13, okay. <clears throat> I kind of liked your thought on the 15 uh, because you had that was your opportunity to get to the 11 off the one and to the nine mm -hmm. see now she's kind of in a bad spot here can she try to use inside off the bottom rail and avoid that seven i don't think that she can and not, no not and get into the 11. No, she has so. to go too wide so that takes that out of the equation now she can't come around and maybe get back to the 15. Mm -hmm. but um either way it's it's uh, there's work mm -hmm. Rick, Rick, how you doing, pal? Yeah, Rick uh, over in Q Storage. Rick Medaffer uh, does a great job in Q Storage. And what a great concept. You know, you don't want to carry your Q case all weekend. So you, what do you do? You're right outside the tournament room. Hand them 30 bucks for the whole weekend. And mm -hmm. it's it's like your own personal locket. Mm -hmm. yeah. You walk up. You say, hey, here's my ticket. Boom, you got your case. You play your match. You go back, here's my case, safe, mm -hmm. locked up, secure, and you're in good shape, mm -hmm. so. Where this shot is, I can definitely see her playing the 15 off the three, almost hitting like a stop shot. A little bit of top, because she can't really get on it, but 15 will go off the three into the side. See how she hits this ball. 
Oh, she cut it clean. Wow, wow that was a tremendous shot. shot. Yeah. And she might have laid pretty good. Wow. I still don't think the, the, the 11. She's at, she's, uh, she's pretty much done for the run out here. Yeah. I don't think she can make the 9 inside, and the 11 does not go. Can to she the pocket one. speed it with inside? The 11? Yeah. No. Bank's not there, so let's see how she did. Extreme left, bank the eight, nine cross side. Call the nine in the side. Well, maybe it does go there, okay. Even if it doesn't, if you hit it soft, it's a good safety. Wow. Oh, too okay. hard. Wow, okay. So now we're, now that one, those three balls are just, that's a total train wreck. Yeah, and this is a chance where Katie, if the out's not there, take advantage of where those two stripes are. Uh, you essentially will have your opponent, um, I don't want to say quite in jail, but it'll be harder for them to get out because they can only go to one spot. It'll be easier to play them safe. Oh, yeah, you absolutely, <coughs> you're absolutely playing safe here, and mm -hmm. just uh, you're going to bide your time. You're going to play smart, and you, you're in control of the table here because mm -hmm. Your opponent with the stripes is in a bad spot. Yep, very good. It's a good shot because now, if she even does make a good hit, Katie's still going to have opportunities to loosen up the rack and, and open up things for her to take advantage of the table. Yeah, I mean, the shot there, which I, I would hope she wouldn't take which would be banking across corner and draw into the ball, but with it being 0-0 zero, zero and the match just starting, she's playing safe. I don't even know if she can see the 9. Oh, really? Okay. I think she's got a kick-up table. Hmm. Well, while she is, okay. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of spin. Looks like... Oh, excellent hit. hit. Very nice. Excellent hit. And she got away with it. Wow. Very, very nice. Well, you know, she made a good hit um, and didn't give Katie a shot. But Katie has so many balls to play safety on and keep control mm -hmm. of the table. Mm -hmm. When she doesn't let her have a clean shot at the ball, she's going to be in good shape for a while until she can utilize um, control. Mm -hmm. Once she gets control... She'd love to get a ball in hand to uh, open that stuff up and then really take over the match, or take over the game anyway. See, I think shooting this with low right and coming off the side rail and send it, trying to send the cue ball right against the back of the five. Can she get that angle? Maybe she can't. Mm, okay. That's not a bad shot at no, all. not bad at all. Good shot. It opens up her balls. Uh, <coughs> doesn't give up a shot. Mm. And Jacqueline's got a nice... Really, what I would do is I would thin the 11 and try to freeze up on the back of the 4, basically. Okay. Just not give up anything. She doesn't have much to choose from. I don't know if we can get that angle from the other end. That would um, show us. Yeah, so that's a nice angle right there. Thank you, Kyle. Just thin the 11. Yep. Now she freezes on the four. Mm -hmm. Well, she, she left her a window on the five or the six, but yeah. nonetheless, uh, Katie still has to come with a shot here. Yeah, I think you just swallow the six in, go up against the uh, five to contain it, and then you have options from there. Yeah, see, I'm thinking just the opposite. I'm shooting the five, and then I have a drill on the two, seven, four, mm -hmm. six, three, mm -hmm. one. You know, yeah. game over. Mm -hmm. Eight. <laughs> oh, I got to do that too? Yeah, oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> too many Christmas. Goodness. I do everything. Yeah.
Let's see, he's, she's drawing away from the six, which I guess is okay, because she can lay for the one ball if she wanted to. Oh, she played in the corner, okay. It's a nice shot. Oh, wow, okay. She had to have her clean. Yeah. She didn't, uh, she, I don't know if she's going to go three to the one, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I personally don't care for the three to the one, but because yeah. you're going to go into the one. Exactly. As long as she has a shot on the five or the one, she'll be okay. But, you know, funny things happen here. You don't want to get yourself out of line. Yeah. Is she an angle to try to shoot? Could slow roll the four? No, it looks like she's going left of the shot line on the four. I was going to say if she was going right, then she can try to get straight in on the seven past the five and go from there, but no. Well, if you have an angle going to the bottom rail off the four, then you'd put come up from the seven or the two on the side mm -hmm. closest to us. Yep. But uh, maybe she's a little more straight on the three than it, it appears. Oh, very good. Very good. And she was a little straighter than I uh, mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. it appeared on the monitor. So. Yeah. <laughs> the two balls that Jacqueline can shoot at the one is a blocker. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but if, uh, if I'm Jacqueline, I'm going to shoot the 11 into the one and the cue ball and try to bring it on top of the nine and freeze it to the two. So I was going to ask you, uh, do you think the one ball is deep enough that she can draw the eight, draw the nine and if she hits it, it clean? Absolutely, it is, it is definitely a good option. And then if she makes the nine, she's out. Well, here's, a, here's a, a, another option. Uh, if you're dead straight, you can actually follow the nine yeah, and, double, one, and right play yeah. the double kiss. Yep, and it's drawn. But she's actually drawn it. Yep. Hit and draw. It's following the nine. Wow. She didn't hit it clean, like you said. Goodness. Okay. Well, if Katie can just roll up on the five, and then it's your drill. It's mm -hmm. your kind of angle drill here on the two, seven, and four. So. Yep. Let's see how she does here. Now, I wouldn't like to see her try to come under the eight, oh, but it yeah. looks like she might have to with that angle. I don't yeah. know. And if she does have to do that, I would like to see her try to get so much straight in so she can follow for the seven on the side if she has to, or even draw if she has to. <clears throat> and she's looking at that now. If she goes top English from this shot, she's going right between the two diamonds to the right of the side pocket, which should get her a good angle straight in on the nine. She's looking at the seven now if she gets there. Just make sure you miss that eight ball. Just a little harder than pocket speed. She's looking at that point of the rail where the cue has to go. Oh, she had firm, so she was laying from the side anyway. Okay. She's perfect for the two or the four. Yeah, and you know, I was thinking about that too. By laying for that, you have three options no matter where you land on that shot. So that was very, very smart. Good shot, Katie. See her shooting at the four ball now just because she's going away from the seven four if she shoots the two in the side. I think she can slow roll the top. Now she's playing the two, okay. Yeah, I don't mind that. Just 
follow it a little bit, and you're good. Maybe she is going towards the seven. Okay. All right, good shot. <clears throat> Draw this straight to the side rail and out to play the four in the same pocket. You might elect to go two rails if she thinks she can miss the four ball. Which it looks like that's what she's doing. Okay. We'll put the four there. Oh, did she scratch? That's brutal. Yeah, she, was, she was playing that four ball to lay for a shot, but just hit it just a little bit too hard. If she hits the seven a little thicker, um, she's she's okay, but she mm -hmm. hit it on the thin side. Yeah. And cut it to the high side of the pocket, so that cost her uh, a very, very unfortunate scratch. Yeah. And this first game is real tough because Katie has to go to four, Jacqueline goes to three. So Kate, Jacqueline wins the first game. Puts a lot of pressure on Katie here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she really made, Katie was in a great shot there, made a good out, and we're really in the driver's seat. And like you said, it's just unfortunate to clip that four ball and scratch. Yeah. <coughs> close to the nine, so she would have to work that hard to draw it back off that side rail for the eight opposite the nine ball. Hello, Janice Sessions in the chat with us. Thank you. Janice, how are you? We miss Janice. She is uh, awesome. Doing amazing things for this game for all the players, and we really, really appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you again. Mad respect for her in South Florida and all she does down there. Yeah. Broward. Beach. I know she's doing some stuff at Grover's tournament mm -hmm. uh, that they're doing there for uh, for everybody. So we miss her this year. Mm -hmm. so she, so really? she popped out. She might have got away with it. She hit it real good. Well, wow, okay, good shot. Don't know if that was quite what she had in mind, but it worked out for her. Sometimes you just gotta let it fly. Mm -hmm. So especially when you have the entire tables open up. So for the most part, where you end up on your next ball, if it'll go in any pocket, you're pretty assured to have a shot. So they use a white marker to <coughs> patch the pocket for the eight ball, just so that there's no questions about where it's going to go. Chris loves her ACS uh, national shirt. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> it is a pretty cool shirt. Mm -hmm. from around the room. Uh, we have Tim Barker and Fernando Suarez. Looks like Fernando is up 1-0. Tim is at the table. They're on table 61. Uh, Francisco Diaz and Wesley White are knotted up at two games apiece. Um, both of these games at top are going to be a race to four. So they definitely have some good action around the room. You can head YouTube and uh, look at all of our uh, matches at the same time. Tim came off a match about a, maybe about 45 minutes ago. I forgot the gentleman he was playing, but man, he played so strong. Yeah, he was playing Jimmy Doyle. That's it was right. a real good match. Yeah. Tim oh. played really well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jacqueline with the break.
She hit him square, didn't she? Yep, hit him square. Is 13. That, yep. You know, she draws the cue back so that she'll have a higher probability of having a shot after she makes a ball, uh, which she does here. Um, doesn't really look like there's too many issues. I mean, he has, she has the 5-14 uh, that's uh, kind of <coughs> close together, so she'll we'll have to figure that out. Um, now, I want to remind people, if you're not familiar with this, uh, if you make a ball on the break, it is still open. It is not, you don't have to take whatever you make. Uh, so some people are not familiar with the, that rule. So you can make five stripes and uh, shoot solids if you'd like. So the table is still open. She made a ball. Yeah, I was you can shoot a stripe into a solid or a solid into a stripe to um, designate what your suit is going to be your first shot after the break. Yeah, I was going to say, I do like stripes here because if she tried to shoot the 7, that was going to put the 12 into this cluster and kind of create more challenges for her. I think her taking stripes will give her more of an opportunity or more options of running this rack. Like right now, she can use the 15 to go down table about a half a diamond to get a good shot on the 14 uh, past the 5-6. So we're shooting after the tennis ball. Let's see how he does how she does this. So she drew her ball. I don't quite know if she was drawing for the 14. No, I think she might have overdrew for the 15. Okay. So Okay, now the cut shot is there. Depends on how she's feeling. If she feels like she's in stroke. She can shoot at that, and that is a shot that, if you miss it, you'd want to leave your ball hanging just to potentially cause a challenge for your opponent later on in the rack, possibly. But on this, the 15 might go by the 12. I can't tell from my angle. I believe it does. Oh, okay. But the problem is you're, uh, you're thinning it so much, turning the cue ball loose. Yeah. Is. You almost have to draw it so it hits the side rail and bounces out a little yeah. bit so you don't scratch. Yeah, I'd probably draw with a little low inside so that once it hits this right rail and then the bottom, it'll spin. Spin it looks she's jacking up on it. Okay. Doing that, she has a potential for scratching in the side. Yeah, exactly. Let's see here. Oh, she played the combo in the corner. Okay. All right, Katie, here's your shot. Um, I don't really see many issues. I mean, for the most part, if they're navigated right, every ball, for the most part, has a pocket. The six will get you to the five to the opposite corner. Um, well, the problem is getting started. You don't yeah. have a great starter shot. So yeah, you know exactly. what? Play, play smart. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take... Uh, there's a couple safeties here that are viable, so, yeah. Now she could kind of jack up a little bit with low right and make the 7 into that corner pocket speed and avoid the scratch, but again, it's... Well, see, keep in mind that she's not as tall as, as you yeah, are, so I mean, she doesn't get that reach over the table right. like you. Oh, that's right, yeah. You're playing a little bit higher, asking a little bit more. Yeah. Saving grace might be the 15 is still between the 1 and 2 by the mm -hmm. side pocket. That's mm -hmm. going to be a tough one to play position on. Mm -hmm. But Jacqueline certainly has the ability to maneuver around here a little bit. She can wait for the 13 um, to go to the 15. To that's come in that's the shot right there. Yeah. To go to the 15 for either one of these bottom corner pockets, and that will get her to the 14. And then she'll have to develop the eight. <coughs> See how she navigates this. Look how are you, Pop? Kind of straight in. It's actually a really, really good shot. Yeah, you just hit it with a stop, or you can roll it to the bottom rail and back out. Mm -hmm. or, well, like you said, you had the 15 in either upper pocket, so yeah. she's actually in a uh, pretty good position here. Yeah. If, if 
if she gets um, an angle on the 14, she can draw it to the line where the 13 is to play the 8 opposite side. She won't have to interrupt any balls to try to get to the 8 or to try to develop the 8. Might be thinking a little bit ahead for. Uh, you might for get. Some. Yeah, you, you got the card a little too far in front of the horse mm -hmm. right now. Maybe. Uh -huh. Okay, a little harder would have done her right, but she's okay. It's it's definitely a navigatable rack. She can actually, if she shoots it in the left, she can draw into the one, but because of how hard hard she has to hit the ball, that might cause some challenges. Yeah, she's actually going to be able to draw into the one and hold it because the. Uh, one is a little bit below, okay. so it's caused cue ball to uh, go up table, and uh, she doesn't hit the ball very firm. Uh, not a lot of the ladies hit it firm, firm, so they roll the balls a lot more often, so this ball potentially could get behind a seven if she's not careful. Uh, great mechanics. Look at the elbows directly above the cue, right at the chin line. How'd she hit it? Look at that. Wow, oh, she's like a champ. Great shot. So now she can't use top, but I can't tell if she can make the seven or the eight off of the seven ball. If she can, just draw it right to the opposite rail. And All you gotta do is, with a little stun, and shoot the eight in the same bottom right corner that she just shot the other ball in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just pull it towards the four. Yeah, Maybe you don't let have the four contain you it. You don't have to do, don't move the ball if yeah. you don't have to. Yeah. I'd rather lo get, uh, lower the water instead of raising the bridge. <laughs> there you go. Make things more difficult. <laughs> okay, good shot. Wow. Oops, yeah. Either, mm -hmm. either pocket to go to. Mm -hmm. in the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. She's playing well. Yeah, she is. Not rushing, not taking her time. You see some players, when they get further into the rank, they tend to speed up. No, she's very not deliberate. Jacqueline. She's very. She's been doing this a while. She's got knowledge and experience. Yeah. She's not going to rush. She can take her time. Get there. Wow. Goodness. That was a good out there by uh, Jack when she worked her way through that rack mm -hmm. nicely. Great out. All right. It's Katie with the break. Yeah, Katie's definitely going back against the wall now. Jack went on the mm -hmm. hill. Yeah. Jack needs one more game. Katie's been through this war before, so she knows what she has to do. And she had that very unfortunate scratch uh, in the first game that kind of turned the tides a little bit. Uh huh. She made that first game. Um, the momentum certainly is on her side. Yeah. So let's see, see if she can rally back here uh, mentally, re regroup, and stay focused here. Breaking off that back rail like that. Mm -hmm. a chance to hit the ball a little firmer and have that control that we need. Great shot. Kick on the three. She hit with a light, a nice, uh, generated a nice power there. Mm -hmm. Three ball on the break. It is open. She has a shot on the seven. Really, that's like her only opening. Legitimately great shot to start with. Yeah. And um, I think the rest of the solids are actually pretty good, so I think that's what I would start with. Yeah. I don't know if she has an angle going into the 13 here, or her angle if she shoots the 7. Going forward, stopping back, or what? Or she can go from there, but it's kind of hard to tell from here. Jace Park, good evening. Thank you for checking in with us. Where, you ch where is Jace Park checking in from?
There are two people here, Jace, uh, doing queue work. There's uh, Woody's Cues and D and D. They're both on site. Come in, they'll take care of you. They'll do a nice job. Nice shot. Melbourne, you play out of either uh, Aurora or Pulleys, or you go to Brevard. Yes. So very nice. All right, so Katie uh, started with the seven. Yeah, take a thin cut on the one, but sometimes you just got to bear down and take what the table gives you. Don't force it. Just make the shot. Should get there. Great oh, shot. That's nice. Very that's nice. nice. Shot on the five. Okay, good. I don't know. It's going to be close. Yeah, I think so. So I think with the five, we'll give her other options to develop the rest of the rack. Well, she's got to cut the five. Mm -hmm. But using that ten to maybe draw into the ten. Yeah, the camera got a little blurry on us. Um, Make sure it wasn't me. <laughs> anyway, let's see what she's going to do here. Let's watch and learn something. Mm -hmm. She's in an awkward spot because that nine and two is yeah. really from here. She's got a real long bridge. Nice shot. Amazing up. shot. She hit the nine with her stick, so she can put it back. Yeah, that's about right. Mm -hmm. After the shot on the follow through, she came down on it and just bumped the nine a little bit. Jacqueline has the option to leave it or put it back. And Katie's in a little bit of a pickle here. Can either play, oh, you know what, that 14 by the left side is, uh, takes away a good, you can't play a good safety there because that ball is easy to make, but. Bank the two to the upper right pocket. She's gonna play safety though. Okay. I would like to see her bank the two ball towards the corner pocket, and if she misses it, leaves it hanging, and if she puts the cue down to the bottom of the rail, I mean, yes, the ten will go on the side, and she might be able to develop something. But how's the safe here? Are you seeing the safe? I'm not seeing. You know what I'm seeing now. Okay, she's calling the okay. two. Okay. Okay. Here's the other good safety though, that bank the two into the 10 in the side, take the 10 out of the pot, uh, equation and send the cue ball up to the head string. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, good shot there. Nope, she was trying to control the cue ball. Mm. Actually the good thing is she tied up to 915 a little bit. Yeah. That's actually not bad, no, <laughs> actually that turned out pretty good. Yeah. All things considered. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, that um, it may actually work out decent for her. Yeah. Okay. So Jack, I'm looking at the shot. Um, getting over a third of the ball on a jump. For me, I'm thinking it's possible, but it looks like she is uh, calling something in that side. Maybe she's going to go for the kick. Let's see here. Unless. Now, oh, Gary was asked to go watch a hit. Maybe back cutting the nine off of the 12 ball into the or off of the. Uh, I think that's the 12, oh no, the 10 ball. Okay, yeah, she's going to back cut the nine off the 10. Just make sure you watch your cue ball. And this is a shot where if you know it goes, just hit that spot on your object ball. You don't need to worry about anything else. 
Should get it. Oh wow. Oh, with a scratch. Goodness. Okay. Well, this could be a big, hopefully, a turn events. Yes. Uh, she had an unfortunate scratch that mm -hmm. kind of went against her in the first game, so mm -hmm. let's see if she can turn the tables. So, what do you think? Four, two, five, eight. Four, kind of, kind of straight in, but draw it between the 14 8. Try to get straight in on the two ball. Shoot it in the top right corner where we're looking. In the five opposite, and then the eight in the side. You're asking a lot, only because of the four ball. Yeah. I mean, the four. I would, you, you know, um, you want to simplify it, so two ball, shoot the five and stop. When you cut the four in, you use this 12 ball, you kind of run into that cluster, because you're going to have a shot on the eight, most likely. Okay, so we use the five to the four. Okay, and then, and the good thing too is that you can kind of get right of the shot line, so you might be able to get closer to your work off of that. So, I mean, I, I definitely see the four to the two. Um, yeah, that's that angle I'm talking about. If she can draw it and just kind of draw, just yeah, the scary back. part is just you not know, getting yeah too much or not enough. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at right here. Yeah. Just make sure you don't hit that 14 if, or hit the 14. If you don't hit the 14, you'll be just fine. Yeah, you can, uh, it takes a lot to hit that 14 from there. Good shot. Yeah. Phenomenal. As long as that 14 doesn't hinder the bridge now. Yeah, that's the shot. Okay, so stop and then draw. Now this is your key ball. Just make sure you make it with a stop shot. Yeah, as long as she's straight. Mm-hmm. She has an angle, and then she has to go to the, go out and come back to the middle of the table. I don't like how long her bridge is, but it be harsh. She's slow roll it. How'd she hit it? Good shot. Okay. It's okay now. She has developed the eight, but that's I'd rather her be here than. I think pocket the five. And again, trying to draw right into that twelve. You can run into the high side of the twelve. It will give you a shot on the eight in the side or the upper right. Okay. Almost like a like a low stun. Kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, try to hit the 12 full in the face. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you, I, I don't know if, I mean, I know she can do it. I don't know if she wants to try to stroke it and draw it to the, between the eight and back out, which is really a tough shot. I, that's why I say cinch the shot instead mm -hmm. of trying to force the shot. And mm -hmm really try to choose the cue ball. Make the ball and take what the table gives you. Twelve balls there for you to run into. He did. Wow. Come on. That's the only problem with that shot. Mm -hmm. and, and I like that shot. Mm -hmm. The problem is you have to hit it with such a you know force that mm -hmm. you can potentially miss your shot. Yeah. I mean, that was a good shot, though. I, mean, I liked the shot she hit. That was the shot I, I would not be hesitant to shoot, but... Yeah. I don't know if this will go past, go through the nine ball. It might. I'd like to see her Here, back cut it. Here's the thing, though. It's actually too late. If she doesn't make it, guess where the eight sits? Okay, yep. Yeah. That's that what Jacqueline sense. has to do. Yep. Yeah. Never let her see the eight ball because okay. the balls are all cluttered up. Yeah. Key ball's going up table. She's not going to have a lot to work with. Yeah. Just watch the tangent line off the cue. Which I think it goes about a half a diamond past the side pocket. Oh, yeah. From my angle. I like the shot. I think it's a smart play. Oh, maybe not. Maybe she can get to the bottom now. Oh, the weight will carry it down. Wow. See what a smart play that was. And look what you did with the 10 ball. Phenomenal. Good shot. That was a very smart shot. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the cluster of three in the rack, they don't really go. I mean, the 12 will go past the 13, but... Thirteen opposite. But 
Uh, Ali Frank in the chat. Uh, this is the semifinals. The winner of this match plays Yvette Fernandez in the finals. Mm. All right, she's going to play safe, which is pretty smart. Yeah. As long as she doesn't leak out a shot, but uh, the eight ball is in the side pocket, but it's not like a hanger and from anywhere on the table, so. Yeah, with how good she is, I would like to see her kind of make a few balls first. Uh, that way, when you do get back to the table, it's less work. No. A little, uh, a little scary because if you miss that first shot. Mm hmm No. But I'm, I'm with you. Mm hmm You have to be careful not to clip the 12. Yep, good shot. And she might have a good jump shot. The eight ball is off enough where she can probably jump that eight ball in, which if she does, they might have one of us watch this hit. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, it's, uh, you're right. Somebody will watch it. It's a shot that doesn't really need to be watched. But no, I don't. She can kick it um, side rail towards the 14 and come across or go for the jump. We That's your only two options. I see a two rail kick on this or not really? No, you're talking about coming to the bottom left as we look at mm -hmm. it. The 10 ball gets in the way. Okay. I mean, it. Oh, it's right there, there. Yeah, but that 10 yeah. ball's big. Wow. And the eight on the, what, what I would call the back side of the pocket from where she's shooting from, so mm -hmm. it makes the jump shot even harder. Oh, yeah. Uh, the 10 right. ball's big here. I don't see. side pocket. Let's see. I think um, hitting that side rail a diamond past the side pocket with a little bit of left might get her the cue ball right to the angle of the eight. But it looks like she's trying to go one one rail into it. Might be playing safe, trying to tie balls up. Um, Time 15, 14. This is a brilliant shot. What a great shot. What a that is speed brilliant. on that. Phenomenal. Brilliant shot. <sighs> That's experience right there. Yeah, we told you folks. Man, we have some great matches coming up. The expertise that these players have. Oh, that was brilliant. That 15 14 on that side rail is a major problem mm. for Jacqueline right now. No. Not to mention the 10 ball by the 8 ball. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's going to play a smart shot. She's going to play the 11 off the 8 to open up the side pocket with the 10 ball. Nice. She had another ball. She said, ball on him for Katie. Oh, my goodness. What a... Wow. Holy moly. You know what? I like the respect and the admiration to mm -hmm. say, you know what? I fouled. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not, you, know, you, you don't even have to call it. That exactly. Was, and, and that's what we see here at this event. We've seen it. I've seen it all week long. You know, mm -hmm. these guys, gals. Uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, if, it, if it's a close shot, they're going to say, have somebody watch it just to take out any question. But they yeah. call a lot of fouls on themselves if they made the mistake, just like that. It shows you the class mm -hmm. uh, that Jacqueline is right there. Absolutely. And Katie, is, Katie would do the same thing. Oh, absolutely, 100%. Yep. So, kudos to them. Meanwhile, we have a nail biter over here on uh, 
59 between Francesco Diaz and oh, wow. Westman. Double Hill, 3-3, and it is, yeah, there. That is a good one right there, folks. Okay, Jacqueline with the break. Firm, hit him solid. Good break. She definitely breaks good. Wow. Nothing fell, but man, she scattered him. Yeah, and the pattern's there for stripes. Goodness. I mean, it's just, as you were mentioning earlier with the drill, I mean, everything's there. Now, shoot the 11, you can draw back for your 15 next. And then you got down table for uh, the rest. You can try to get kind of straight in on your 15. You can wrap two rails around for the nine ball in the opposite corner, and then you're out. Looks like she's starting with that cluster, though, first. Psyching me out. <laughs> sure. Now, if the tank goes in the side, I, I might even think about that for 13 and then 10. Right. In the side, right. if the tank goes in the side. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, a little hard, but yeah. she's okay. I like it. Oh, the ball stopped a little, a little faster than I thought it would be. Okay, good shot. 15 or the 11. The only thing I don't like about shooting one of these three is jacked up over the 1 3. So. I know. I want to get that 15 out of there now. That way you won't have to worry about it later on coming around table, going across the eight shot line, and things like that. But. She kind of ended up back where she started on with um, three and one, but she's okay. She can still uh, work it out. Can she make that 15 ball? I think so, but you know what? I don't know if I would shoot to 15 now. Uh, no, no, yeah, she's. And there, here's the reason why my my perspective on this, because you have to get good on these three balls. If you only shoot one of these three, I shoot the middle one and, f and roll forward, and shoot the other one in the upper left corner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if you don't get perfect on, if you shoot the 15 and you get out of line, you you're going to send these balls flying. Mm -hmm. You're going to be moving furniture around. Yeah. You don't know what you're going to have to deal with. That's a beautiful shot. Okay, good shot. Very See nice. now the 10 up in the corner, 15, 14, 8. You're good. Very nice. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah. She's playing very smart. Yes. Um, you know, that, that safety last game, was, I just showed you how, like, how intensely smart that was. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. Breathe. All you got to do is cinch the shot and roll forward about two or three inches. So many players talk about that open bridge and getting a good sight picture over the shot, especially on those longer shots. You'll tend to have a little bit more confidence when you're delivering the cue on that. Um, gosh, I hear that from a lot of pros. It's, uh, it's good, and it's definitely one of the fundamentals that Katie has always been one to follow on that open bridge. Very nice. 
Nice. Excellent. And how she looks at the line to her next ball to see where she has to get after she makes her current shot. You learn a lot from these players. Definitely. Beautiful. Nicely done. Excellent shot. All right, Katie's going aside. The marker is there. Mm -hmm. so. That designates the pocket for the ball. Very nice. Beautifully done by Katie. All right. All right. Locking it up at two apiece. Well, Katie's two apiece. going to four. Jacqueline will be going to three. Correct. And Francisco Diaz and Wesley White are still on that hill hill game. Uh, and Francisco is at the table. That's a great matchup between those two guys. Mm -hmm. Wesley out of uh, just north of uh, Atlanta, like the Marietta area. Plays out of Q's, I think. And uh, Francisco out of Fort Myers. Yeah. Probably playing out of Southern Billiards and Diamond Billiards. Nice. Yeah. New Jersey pool player. What is up, Troy? Come on up, Troy. Come hang out with me this weekend. I need some help, buddy. Flip's got a, he can't help me. He's, he's, no. You know, he's got reality and, and <sighs> responsibilities, you know, and he's not a real pool player. His damn jobs. You know, <laughs> if he was a real pool player, he'd quit his job and yeah, hang out with me all on. weekend. But Make all the money. Come on. So, Troy, come on up, hang out with me. Put, put the fishing pole down. The fish will be there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give him a break. All right, let's get back to the action. Katie B with the break here. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, she hits him square. Freaking break on her. What One an ball. amazing break. One ball down. That is and both of them hit it dead square in the nose. What a great break that is. It's amazing you had a break that good, and these are the clusters that end up. It's like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Six fifteen, right above below the spot. Yeah. That's it's really the major trip problem. The rest of them are workable. The ten ball is kind of in a bad spot if you yeah. can take stripes. Mm -hmm. well, the six goes, so if she can get to the six ball, she's got the out, I think. Five will go by the nine, the two has pockets, and every solid has a pocket. So, um, three balls, she can... You know, that's why I like doing this, because I never miss from here. Well, of course. I, yeah. I, can, I can call these shots yeah. and these outs all day long. I got a thousand Fargo from this seat. Yeah, I believe <laughs> it. I believe it. Yeah. That's um, the beauty of being here, is you yeah. can just call it and say, oh, do this, do this. Yeah. Then you gotta kind of dig so into now, reality and yeah. really think so, about it. Yeah. So now this three ball, if she went with it to try to come off the bottom to lay for the six, if she didn't get it, the two would be an insurance ball for her. Now she'll have to either use pop this off the rail to play your seven, or she's gonna try to come two rails. Now she did come off the rail. Okay, good shot. But now she's gonna have to develop something so she can. Use top English into the 12 and push that to the bottom and lay for maybe the 5 ball. And now she's looking at the 3. I think make the 7 high English and lay for your 5 in the side past the 9 ball. And then you can develop the rest of the rack from there. Alright, well, we'll see if you're right. So watch and see. She's looking at that five now. She, she ideally wants to get almost straight in on the three so that she can play the gap between the 15-8 on the six. Okay. I thought she, yeah, so she's playing the three now. See, I like that now. 
the two does go by the. I think that's the 12 ball. Yeah, I don't think it goes now. I don't either. See if she can hit that 14 to contain the cue ball for herself for the two in the bottom right corner pocket from our vantage point. And thank you, Kyle. Great camera work. More pocket speed. More touch shot. Good shot. She wanted to hit the 14 a little bit full on the face so the cue wouldn't have come down as far, but it is what it is. She's taking what the table gives her. Yep, she can use the edge of the nine to contain the cue for the three ball. Now, do you level out and hit a little harder than pocket speed? Oh, you, absolutely. Okay. That way you're not kind of jabbing at the ball. Yeah, you gotta hit this with a nice uh, stun shot. Mm -hmm. So that you can clear the nine when you, you yeah. definitely want to bump into it. Oh, she is going down into the edge of the nine ball. Okay. Just gotta hit it firm. Make sure your uh, fundamentals are perfect. Yeah, if you go into that face of the nine right where it is opposite the two, you're gonna lay perfect from the three six. She's level, leveling out now. So let's see how she hits this. How did she get there? How did she get Dead there? Dead nuts oh perfect. God. And if she laid for the six now, wow, looks like she can make the six. Oh. Maybe, let's see. No, okay, so she's going three, six, eight. Right. She doesn't like it because yeah. she, she's got to load this up with inside. Yeah. To bring the cue ball back up. It's mm -hmm. going to come off the three, hit the bottom rail. Yeah. And she needs to stay to the left. But she needs to bring the cue ball basically back where it is. Crazy just high. a hair shorter so that she can see the six. Yep. And shoot uh, about one o'clock. Maybe. Probably a little more Maybe. than that. Yeah. Because the cue ball is going towards the center of the table. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you really good at it. Good thing there is that she has a pretty good sized window um, to, uh, to get good on the six. Looking at that angle there. Her striking yeah, down on the She's ball stretching, like which really makes the now with her shaking, stroke and accuracy get strong. Up, get up, hard. start over. Yeah. Get up, start over. Redo your fundamentals. And just make sure you practice what you've been what you've been working on. Too much. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Nobody ever practices stretching all the way across the I table. I know. I know. It's such a tough shot. Yeah. I mean, will it go off the 15? Could you one reel try to kick it off the 15? I think that's what she just looked at. To be honest, I, I think I'm tying balls up again. <laughs> Brian Smooth, my buddy Brian, and uh, old buddy from the pan. Nice. Yeah, man, yeah, this is a good guy. He's a uh, school board now doing some great things. So. Very nice. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well, pal. I think if I'm uh, Katie, I might try to tie stuff up here because, yeah. one, if you even make a good hit, you're opening everything up for your opponent. Mm -hmm. Two, chances of... Wow, what is she doing? She's trying to kick it one rail. Yeah, she's going for the hit. Okay. That's a great shot, too, because we can see. So. Very gutsy shot here. Okay. No good. No good. Bad hit. Okay. That's the only thing I didn't like about that shot. Wow. She opened up to 13-12, which mm -hmm. was a problem earlier. Yeah. The key to this is 
just uh, find your key ball of the eight and then work to that. And with the eight being where it is, you've got a few different options. I think get that four ball first. Oh, I'm sorry, the 14, uh, 12, and then work your way from there. Maybe 9, 14, 12, and then go from there. Looks like Wesley White advanced. He's a master. I didn't realize that. 5-3 uh, oh. over Francisco Diaz. So oh. mm -hmm. You will have uh, Wesley White over David Stem later on for the men's finals. So let's get back to the action here. Jacqueline at the table. Ball in hand, open table. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. She's okay. She's still obviously pocked the 13, but she's going to clip to six. Yeah. Going up table if she shoots the 13. There she is. 13, yeah. It's very makeable. She can get out here. All right. Now that 10 ball might come into play. She might go straight into that 10 ball. Let's see if she's able to do that and then try to use that 10 to contain the cue so she doesn't... Uh, have the cue ball get out of hand. Just like that. Good shot. Okay. Uh, now the only really issue she's going to have is if she selects the 11 as her key ball, she'll need to make sure she gets perfect on it because she'll have half a pocket coming past the 6, and it'll be more challenging to play it in the side of where she's standing now. Oh, I think she's got a full pocket. Uh, that yeah. bottom right pocket past the 6. You think she has yeah. a whole pocket past yeah. there? Okay. She said, just uh, calling the nine ball, okay. jump shot for her yeah. if she's adventurous enough. Well, you got to go by the eight balls to prop yeah. to 14. You don't think jump, uh, if she can no, land? You don't jump that eight ball. 99% <laughs> of people uh, would not uh, shoot that. Flip, on the other hand, Dr. Popper himself will get out the jump cue and jump, you know, four tables away. Just land on the six and it's that, flushed. That is absolutely, you're, you're saying, here, take my money. <laughs> I am definitely saying that now. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm tying something up here. She's yeah. Because it's kicking off the bottom rail, you have to hit it with a lot of spin to get past the 14. Oh, she's kicking it in the cor calling it in the corner pocket. Wow. It doesn't go, so she's trying to block the pocket. Okay. Trying it in the side? That's, I mean, if I'm kicking, I'm going to try it in the side if I want to try to make it. Mm -hmm. But if I'm playing defense, I'm going to try to set it up table to block those two balls because, mm -hmm. oh, you know what? She's banking it. Okay, oh, never wow. mind. Okay. That's a great shot. Yeah. It's a one pocket shot. Yeah. She might make this. Ooh, overcuts. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be a little unfortunate there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, um, Jacqueline's not out of the woods yet. There's work to be done here. Mm -hmm.
Okay. It's kind of a safe shot for her if she tries to use the 8 to contain the Q because even if she misses it, the 6 isn't going to really have too many options. So she can kind of hit this shot you know, pretty comfortably, if you will, just because of what that did. Um, anything you're seeing, Gary? Yeah, you're just going to soft roll the 6. Oh, unless it goes. If mm -hmm. not, you can just roll to the head rail and have it bounce out and get in front of the 12. Yeah. And leave the cue ball lay on the uh, head rail yeah. up there by the patch. And make her shoot, make her earn it, because as long as you can block the pocket with the 6, that's way a lot of options. So definitely not even. She dead like it must go. Maybe she has a half a pocket. Yep, that was the shot I was looking. I would like to roll that cue ball um, with a little more follow roll on it. Mm -hmm. That it gets closer to the rail, but that's yeah. okay. Yeah. But uh, that, was the, that was what I was looking at. It was that six ball going up and coming back and trying to block the 12 ball. Uh -huh. yeah. Alright, well, now Jacqueline has a golden opportunity to steal this match. Yeah. She pockets this in the side. She's in good shape, especially if she drops back a little bit. Katie have a shot? She does have a shot to make it, but the 10 ball is going to challenge her to get to the 8. Oh, no. Not at all. Because she was inside and go between the mm. 10 and 15? No, you, you just cinch the ball. If you, you can see the edge of it to cut yeah. it in. Mm -hmm. Just a hair outside. Mm -hmm. you can go two rails back and forth and shoot that. It's now in the upper right pocket for the 8 ball. Hair of outside? Will that send the cue into the 10 ball? No, because it's such a thin cut. Okay. Back, you're trying to come back across and oh, bring okay. the cue ball okay. into the 10. I thought the, I thought the 6 was a little bit further up. Bang. Wow. Good shot. Come on out. Come on out. Shot Katie. Wow, that was nice. She would have loved to come out another 6 inches. Yeah, she's good though. Goodness. All right, Katie Bows. Let's do this. Nice shot, KD. All right, so it looks like it's going to be Hill Hill. Uh, and um, yeah, so. And it's going to be Jacqueline's break. Alright, ladies, great shooting. And uh, this is Flip with Extreme Cool Challenge. We'll be right back with you with our final game.
still you're staying consistent. <laughs> Virginia, this is going to be a semi-finals match. Um, looking to see if the three goes past the 15. Then to the corner. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing her shoot the six and going into the three ball now. Just because she has the five down there as an insurance ball if she doesn't get a shot after she makes it. Because the nine's uh, creating an issue with her. Uh, looks like uh, actually she's going to find a bridge. Has to go watch a shot. So I want to see her send this into the 14 3. Just like that. Good shot. Now she has that five ball, which is okay. Um, ideally, if she can make the three ball, it goes. She technically could, but because of the difficulty of the shot, I would like to see her shoot at the five. She can she has a full ball of to cue at and she can develop something from there. She can use top and side. She has options. Now again with a 5 block in the 12, she also can comfortably shoot at the 3 ball. If she misses it, it blocks the hole. So there are a lot of options that are still going to be able to happen. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, We've got some thriller matches. As soon as this match is over, we will have the men's finals of the A division between David Stem and Wesley White. Okay. And then after that, we will have the ladies final, which would be the winner of this match versus uh, uh, Yvette Fernandez. Awesome. Did she get it? How'd she hit the ball? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. bad. It was kind of an insurance shot that if she missed it, she was going to create a little bit more of a challenge for her opponent, which was good. Well, that 12-5 is absolutely a problem for uh, Jacqueline right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. This uh, match right now, they're double hill, so the winner of this game moves into the finals. The loser is third place, which is an outstanding finish Absolutely. in this event. Of uh, ladies, 73 ladies showed up for this event, and let me tell you, they play good. They're very, very good players. So. Do they break the ladies up into three uh, brackets? As no, well? it's just one for the ladies okay. and two for the men. Okay. Cool. The men's have an AB division. Mm -hmm. Ladies, one division only. Teams, team event is three divisions. Uh, okay, that's right. <clears throat> well, she's got a good. Looks like she can take the thirteen and go down the table if she needs to. That's probably what she's doing right now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Close to the three without getting stopped by the nine ball, and you can go to your 11 after this. I might even draw into. Oh, she had a perfect. No, she didn't. I'm sorry. Mm, okay, well, she might have got away with a straight in combo. Yeah, I would have might have personally try to draw between the two stripes oh, okay. to give myself options. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, if I land just perfectly smooth, then I'll get to mm -hmm. the 11. If I come out, I get the nine, so. Mm -hmm. 
I might have kind of slow rolled that and laid for my my 11 next. And even if the cut was sh kind of sharp, I can go into the 8 to contain my cue, and you never know. <clears throat> uh, Brian Luke, uh, this is a 4-3 race for the ladies, and then the men's is a 5-4 race. Wesley is a master. She has to check out, make sure she avoids the double kiss on the cue ball. I would jack up, and that way you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Yep, just like that. Oh, a little more than that. Brian, how you doing, pal? See what I mean? See, if you jack straight up and you shoot through the curvature of the ball, you can confidently hit that shot without avoiding the double kiss. Looks like she got away with it. Okay. Well, she didn't get a shot after it, but no, she got away with it. Yeah. Hey, Joe Soderberg. How's life in Iowa treating you, buddy? Thank you for checking in with us. As you usually do. We're going to be here all weekend. Uh, nine ball starts tomorrow. Team event starts Saturday. We've got some great matches coming up uh, right after this one. We have men's final of the A division. Very exciting. So... Put the kids to bed, Joe, and sit back and watch the show and enjoy. So do you draw into the 12 ball and use this as an opportunity to kind of get your 12 out of there now if you're trying for the run out? Well, yeah, if you can make the 9. Mm -hmm. well, you so have to. That's what she's trying to do. And now it's a gold, perfect opportunity for that. That's a shot I would like hitting with a closed bridge. I think it would give you a little bit more confidence when you're delivering the cue. It's so funny because I, I shoot 99% open bridge. Yeah, oh yeah. A lot of players do. Well, she's in a little bit of a jam right now. I mean, mm -hmm. she, she did hit the 12, but she didn't get the separation mm -hmm. uh, to be able to shoot where she needs to. But um, mm -hmm. I think she has a still shot as a shot on the 14, so it's not getting any easier, though. No. Katie, uh, if she gets to the table, the one four being so close together, depending on where she's at, uh, could be a little bit of a problem. Yeah. But the five ball right now is her friend, so. Oh, yeah. Um, the seven does go past the three, so if Katie gets back to the table, she'll have some options to work with. <coughs> Joe, we certainly appreciate you spending the time with us. And uh, you know what? Get everybody at Big Dogs involved with uh, Extreme Pool Challenge. You know, share the love, man. You don't got to keep us all to yourself. <laughs> well, big Dogs know what we're all about here. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's still in a, the rooms on my bucket list. Big Dogs in Iowa. Mm -hmm. They just had a big show there. They do the, a big Q show there every year. Nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really nice room. So. Anyway, let's get back to it. What is she doing? Here? That 12 was a problem, so. Yeah, is there, is there a bank to lay for? I don't think so, with how hard she has to hit that ball. To no, make you don't it. have to hit it hard. He's able to roll it fast. Okay. Oh, she she nailed it. it. Yeah, well. oh. She nailed the bank. Oh, and she can play. Now she can go to the corner, bottom left, or side. I like going to the side. Yeah. If you go to the corner, you lose the cue ball behind the one four, one two. Well, if you make it, you've got a shot. If you miss it, if you hit a pocket speed, you're going to block the hole for yourself. No, yeah. 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 I think. Mm -hmm. right. She's calling the corner. Let's see. I'll tell you what. That was a hell of a bank for the last. Uh, she's, oh, she's, she's, she's working hard for it here, yeah. folks. Yeah. She's working hard for it. <clears throat> Gosh, from this angle, it looks like she might have half a pocket at that. I don't know. She, she's got a pretty good portion of the pocket. Okay. 
if she actually hits it, well, it's done because she can hold the cue ball. This angle looks a little different than the other angle. Wow. Well, she hit yeah. it a little soft there. Yeah. All right, Katie, here's your shot. Hell, hell. You've got the out. Now, do you save your three ball for last? No, that's what, that's what I'm shooting the three ball right now. Okay. Three ball, come across for the five, for the seven, and then depending on the angle on the seven, to come up for the four, four or one. Okay. But I want to get, I want to get all those three balls off the table and work the cue ball up away from yeah. my opponent's ball, which is in a great spot for Katie right now because it's on the bottom rail. If the one ball can be made straight in, should she shoot that now? Oh yes. I mean, I'm still a fan of taking <laughs> three right now. Yeah, I see that. Just because I can come straight back across for the five. Mm -hmm. Or the seven, either one. But I like that option. Yeah, because the five, making the five gets you better on the line. You're shooting at the seven ball, okay. Watch the scratch. Oh, I like if she makes it, I, I, you know what? I like that because look who she is. Yeah. The, I yeah. said earlier the two, is that the two four or the one four? Oh, uh, four one. Yeah. Yeah. And those are a problem. So she actually played the seven. And they went right after the trouble yeah, balls. Exactly. So I don't. That's I don't fault her for that. that was uh -oh. a good shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does she try to make the one seven with the cue ball? Kind of hit it a little bit of right, make the seven and kind of bury the cue right into that corner pocket. I mean, you'll have a safe off the three eight if you do, but I'm just trying to see. No, what are you saying? I'm cutting the 12 ball into the seven. Okay. Yes, and trying to block that pocket. Okay, I see. There we go. Ooh, I'd go real first on that side. Scratch might be there on that shot too. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, missed it. Oh no. Goodness. What happens here? Okay, here's your opportunity. Take a breath and relax. Yeah. Breathe and relax. Breathe oh, and like relax. One five. Four, three, seven, combo, and eight. No. <laughs> oh my god, you give me a headache. <laughs> but you gotta bank every ball. You Are you Gary Patrick reincarnated? <laughs> he comes up with some crazy ass. It's alright. Not one, five, four, one, four, five. Three, I'm seven. actually maybe seeing the four is my out ball to the eight. I'm, uh, if the three seven goes, I'm gonna shoot to three seven now. Mm -hmm. See now, see the problem with shooting that ball is all your other balls are below the eight. Yeah, I know. And that's the wrong. That's yeah. Play your play your five ball, then you can kick behind the three after you make the seven, play the three opposite side, what? and then you're out. What, you're kicking at something here? Oh no, I'm shooting at the seven, and then once you make the seven, you get behind the three. Uh. After you make the five right now. I mean, I like the combo. The combo, I think, is for well, Katie, is a good shot. It depends on how much of the three she can hit. I don't fault her for that. Shoot the seven yeah, next. Yeah, I think she wanted to come out more on the four, but okay, she's, she's going to call the seven. If, I, if you play in the seven, hit it super soft. Where'd she get there? Good shot. How did it not fall? Oh my goodness. Oh, shh. Well, I said super soft, but it, no, I didn't mean super soft. It's like super, super soft. I just meant super no, soft. She can jack up on the ball, so if she was ambitious, oh she can throw the 12 in and go into the 8 to put the 8 somewhere else. She can use low right and spin into the 8 ball, but she has to hit this almost perfect. 
because it looks like the 12 might be off the rail a little bit, enough for her to hit the 8. I'm surprised that 7 did not fall. So am I. And she was in a perfect position to be where she needed to be. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, if anybody was sweating a match, this is the one to sweat. This is, this is... I know Bluke was, a, was asking for action. Yeah, he gave her five games. Oh, wow. He's going high, so I don't know if she's just going to go up and back and try to play for the bank. Oh, she missed oh, it. missed it. All right. Come on, Katie. Here's your shot. See why you should have left the four ball. Because uh, it's above the tee. All three balls are below the eight. So now to get back up. Though so she can shoot the uh, five, three, seven, and then the three, and then play the eight in the upper pocket. Yeah. So that way you don't have to move the cue ball. She says, with a smirk on her face. Mm -hmm. Again, I think I hit it soft and then try to play three. I just stop the cue ball for the eight up table. Mm -hmm. I would try to do position for the eight. Mm -hmm. All three balls in the same pocket. Well, I guess she could um, hit the right side of the three and bounce out about a couple inches. I know. See, I I would actually like to see her. She hits the ball firm and has enough fundamentals mm -hmm. to go back and forth. No, you don't take the chance. Okay. Yep, she's looking what? at it now. There's, there's there's an old saying: Don't play position when position's already made. Exactly. Yeah. You just take the shot. It's it's a seven foot table. Yeah, exactly. It's not a nine foot table. Mm -hmm. Coming off the bottom rail. Oh, she's doing Clipping that. Okay. the three. Nice and easy. Oh, she can even go rail first and just nice easy shot. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. No, just stay down on the shot. That's all you have to do. Opposite table, so that you don't worry about the cue ball. 110% focus on making a shot. Yeah. If you're trying to do two things at once, you get a yeah. you get 50-50. Uh -huh. You get 100% on the shot. Side, so it's a little bit more center ball. Come straight across. Yeah, she's looking at it now where the cue ball's going to go after she makes the eight. Mm -hmm. She has to be careful not to use too much top. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it depends on the speed. She not because she don't like it. She might even play it. Two way like a safety built in shot. Mm -hmm. I, I just have faith in her that she pockets balls good enough to make this ball. Exactly. She's playing safe. That's crazy. No, I don't well, I can't fault her. Well, I think you can actually get the cue ball over to that side and still go for the win. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. No. But the golden rule is you hate to let your opponent to the table, exactly. but nonetheless, I don't fault her for that. I don't either. You know, that's what she was feeling. So that's, you know, I mean, I would rather see her do that than 
if she knew she wasn't comfortable in the shot, go for it and miss it. So yeah, let's see if we can get that other camera angle. Thank you, Kyle. Mm -hmm. So she has a safety here too. Mm -hmm. She can kind of bank the uh, twelve right up on top of the eight. I don't think it'll bank past the eight. That's what she's eight. going for. Oh yeah. Yeah, right, you're right. I don't. If she does, she has the spirit. It's not an easy shot. the eight ball, okay, you would have had a much easier shot on the eight in the side. Oh, Jackie does not feel good about that at all. That was a uh, tough one. Yeah. So now would you do this with inside and nope. put the cue in the same spot? No, just make I, it? You, you, you just have to make the okay. ball. Make the ball. Now this shot, because of the shot, you have to aim it to the right point of the pocket, so the direction of the shot makes it in the middle of the table. A lot of players, I'll see them aim this center hole, and because of the direction of the shot, they don't take into account the th natural throw when they cut the ball. And with this being a diamond table, the pockets being as tight as they are, that's definitely something that would come into play with home. Um, she might play safe here. Yeah. She's gonna go for it. Let's see this. No, she's playing safe. She doesn't like the shot. And I know she can make the shot. And actually what you do is you hit it with center ball with a speed because you're gonna go to the hit the right rail with the twelve is and come back across. Yep. You hit it with a good speed. But it's not like you're crushing it, but just yeah. nice smooth stroke. Alright, she's going for it. She's going to make this. Just play the ball. That's it. She's got this. Drills it. Nailed nice it. shot. Wow. Right. What a great Lee match. with the win. Oh, wow. What a match. Game for the finals. Great shot. And uh, great showing Jacqueline Jordan. Gets yes. Third place. Um, great Del job from definitely, her. Definitely, yeah. What a, what a, and Katie came back to win four in a row. Yeah. Jackie was on hand two oh, wow. That's right. That was definitely intense. Great, great match. Right. Yes. So, uh, our next featured match will be coming right up. There'll be two gentlemen. This is um, the finals. This is going to be the finals for our men's. Yep. Nice. A, a division. Okay. Dave Stem and Francisco, Francisco Diaz. Diaz, nice. Two awesome gentlemen. So uh, hang tight while they warm up. I'm going to go uh, use the restroom, yep, powder my too. nose, check my hair, awesome. and uh, we'll, we'll be back in a minute. We'll be back with you guys.
the old people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> one pocket All right, we are back. Uh, the finals for uh, this men division is underway. Francisco Diaz and Dave Stem. I believe this is Francisco in the black. Uh, it's going to be a 5-4 race. Francisco will be going to 5 and Dave will go to 4. And it looks like they're about to kick off. Um, and as soon as this one is over, we will have the women's final. Um, Katie Bowes. Uh, we'll be playing in the finals, and I can't think of the young lady that will be playing her, but uh, that will be it right after this. So, all right, Francisco with the break. Um, hit him solid. Got a good reaction from the walls, but unfortunately nothing fell in. Um, trying to see if I see anything. I mean, the stripes are there. The nine ball will have an issue because the five is there. Um, Looks like he actually will have to take stripes and then try to figure out. Oh, it looks like he's going to score on the side. Okay. Let's see. Can use the 11 to contain the cue. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Hope everybody's doing all right out there. That's extreme pull challenge. We're
that ball from and still control the speed on that cue ball. I mean, something about it he doesn't like, which is okay. I mean, the six will go by the nine. He's got the two ball now. He wanted to get probably a little bit straighter and then two so that he can try to develop the four ball. Um, but he will have options, you know. So let's see how he makes this. level out and uh, he wants to be on the right side of the shot line of the six so he's naturally going towards the four after he makes it. So, he's banking at the four ball. It's kind of a two-way shot too so if he misses he plays it at good speed he'll block the hole. Here, how you doing, pal? Oh man glad to be here. <laughs> what an exciting match we just got done watching. Oh my gosh, you're not lying. And, and now we're gonna have another great match. Uh, Wesley White uh, yeah, guys, I uh, just wanted to see if you all were awake in the chat. We knew that was uh, not Francisco Diaz. And okay. So I just wanted to make sure everybody was awake. So It wasn't me. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was calling the wrong names. <laughs> well, I had typed in uh, Francisco just to see if anybody was paying attention. Nope. <laughs> and actually only two people, so. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Alex Pudo, which uh, I'm surprised is not here. He's I know, He's an awesome player. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, Rick Daffer over Q Storage. So this is a true double. So Wesley has to win twice. He is a master, so it is a 5-4 race. So uh, he's definitely got his work cut out for him. He's a very accomplished, good pool player. So. Uh, so we can just draw it straight back to play the eight on the opposite side. He doesn't really have to get through too much. Yeah, he's, he can actually, if he can just stop it, he's fine. Yeah. simpler than, uh, you know, it's amazing what a quarter of an inch or, you know, half an inch angle changes everything on your um, 
perspective. for us and uh, folks if you think you're hanging out with me I'm actually going to watch maybe another game and I'm going to hit the road I'm heading back to Palm Beach about a couple hours from here and uh, back to the work life tomorrow morning so uh, it's nice being here hanging out with y'all you guys stay tuned you have amazing amazing pool matches coming up this weekend uh, both singles nine ball which starts tomorrow and in the teams so there are some great, great matches going to be coming up. So, but yeah, so another game or two, and I'm going to be hitting the road. So we'll definitely see some of you guys here uh, in the next weeks and see what's going on. All right, let's check out Dave with the break. The break. A lot of players go for that second ball break. Now, if they make the eight ball, does it count? No. Your option is to spot the eight mm -hmm. and uh, play the table as always. Okay. Re rack and re break. Okay. Yep. Cool. So, nice. Ray Wrangles, uh, Wesley Mincash White uh, is a Florida legend. Nice. No, I mean, you know, he's no legend compared to Ray Wrangle, you know, but <laughs> who is really? In, you know, seriously. I mean, Ray's such a legend, he won't even leave the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just they just they just mob him and they, you know paparazzi everywhere for that guy well the 212 is looking at the 12 going up table yeah the stripes are probably a little bit better but the solids aren't terrible if you 14 wasn't there the 47 is Definitely uh, doable, but now he's c confirmed and locked in the stripes. <laughs> I think uh, if nothing else, he just made the solids much tougher for uh, for Dave because wow. now the four seven combo is not even remotely close. Yeah. in the side. His, his probable ball right now is the 9. Yeah. But I do think it goes in the corner where the 14 is. Yeah. Between the 5-7. Yeah. So if he can depend on the getting around table. I don't know if that's the ideal. He's on the wrong side of the 13, I think. Mm. Now with that line, though, if he plays the 13 in the side, he can come three rails right down the line to cut the 15 up corner. He just levels and just makes the ball, lets the rest of the shot handle itself. That's what he's doing. So if he hits middle pocket, he'll have the 15, just like this one, two, three. 15 all the way down, he's good. Now I'd like to be a little bit closer to his work just to make him navigate the rest of the rack a little easier, but at least he has a shot right now. And with the 15 being off of the rail like it is, 
he might be able to make something happen of him getting down to the 10 ball. I don't quite know if he can slow roll it with that and still maintain a decent enough shot on the 10, but that is an option for him. I think you're looking at that option right now. He's drawn into the nine ball to try to make something happen. Yeah. Okay. Watch the scratch. scratch. That's brutal. Wow. Okay, now the four seven being what it is. Uh, five ball. Yeah. yeah. Five or even into the four and late for the five after you make the four. So in case you don't have a shot, you got the five as insurance in the side pocket. Well, that's the two up by the side pocket. Yeah, play the four. two. Play the two, come into the four. If you don't have a shot here, you've got that five ball as insurance. And I hope I'm not talking too loud for them to hear me. <laughs> well, you get a little amped up sometimes. You get excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, you know, a lot of my friends that don't play this game tell me, say, Flip, I don't understand it. You watch this game like people watch football. <laughs> yeah, but this is better than football. Of, of course. That's why we watch. Yeah. So he's starting with this other cluster here. Okay. for the breakout from there, but it looks like he's doing the breakout now, which I still think that's okay, because if he goes straight on the six, he can still go six one. But you see what I mean? If he would have used the pocket speed, if he would have used the ball in hand position from the two, he would have been more accurate on that breakout to the four. You know. He should have used the five from the beginning. Yeah, he could have used that too. gets down and just focuses on making the six. Just make the ball. He's playing the one ball now. Okay. Which if he hits it firm and sends the cue up to the middle of the table, he might be able to make it so his opponent doesn't have a shot. Not quite, but his opponent still has some work to do. six to play the eight where he's standing or does he oh, that's it perfect yeah. tell you Wesley is playing lights out he's been really playing yes. well Unfortunately, I've got a 
9 a.m. clock in time. Yes, tomorrow sir. Morning. <laughs> I understand it. And I always love when you're around. I know you want to stay longer. Yes, I do. But uh, it's okay. We'll do it again right. next time. Oh, yeah. We'll get this crush the break. Look at the eight ball hanging. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Gosh, Solid looks like it might be the move. I mean, he might be able to make the one ball right now. <coughs> Even with a little bit of right English, throw it into the hole. He has option in with the nine ball, with the eight ball hanging. He'll uh, should really have no problem getting that. So let's see if he can actually develop that one. God, I think he can. He might have to throw it in, but I think he can make it. Let's see. Okay, so he's playing the seven in the side pocket, so he might have an option for the one ball later on in the rack. Let's see. Stop. Why so hard? Yep, so he uh, stopped the five ball. waiting for my steak. <laughs> All right, so now he's got a little bit more work to do than anticipated. Um, so break out of the five from the one from the two ball now. And then from there he can probably develop the three, but man that one's in a tough spot now. Yeah that one's in a real bad spot for him. I think it was makeable from the start, but maybe he didn't think so. Who knows? <laughs> Brian, man, I wish I were here, man. I'd love to take you up on that. <laughs> I just figured he was going to show up at your job and bring you some cocktails. Yeah, man. Listen, I mean, the way they're, uh, the samples that they're giving, a lot of them I'll just say, all this needs is Tito's. <laughs> uh, very nice. I like it. It's funny, actually, they're not samples, they're demos. Demos, oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me, wow. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> um, well, you know what? Uh, Wesley's in a bad spot here. You know what? I'd actually play safe here. Then the five, go to the side around, just freeze the cue ball between the five and 14 and not give up a shot. Okay. And let him kind of. It forces him to push the 14 away from you because pretty much you probably don't have anything else to do. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if the 5 clears the 14 to cut in, it may, but again, you don't have a lot of, you know. No, it doesn't. Even if it goes, I mean, gosh, where do you go from here? Exactly. You know, when you take off, the more balls you take off the table, the less you have to work with for your breakout. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I know that's not true. I've been looking at your Facebook posts. I've been seeing what you've been cooking. Brian's a buddy of mine from Palm Beach. So. Mm, I've seen him in the chain. He's been in the chat with us many yeah. times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An amazing golfer. Plays poker, plays pool, plays golf. Plays all the great sports. And here we are. We can't even hardly get a play pool. Nope. And we're not even good. <laughs> no. That's the sad part. Yeah. the shots there, wrap two rails out, and then try to make something happen from there if he's going for it. But I don't think he is. We did. Two rails out. Wow. Okay. That's actually not that bad. I mean, with the five being as deep it is as it is, mm -hmm. the 14 still might be makeable in that pocket later on in the rack. That is true. 
And Dave doesn't have anything great to start with. No. You know what I would do? Maybe shoot the 11 one. I uh, no, because the yellow, he left the f five ball hanging. But maybe shoot the 11 one combo and just oh, play yeah. safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wanted to go for that, uh, that 14 now. He's got a good angle for that 15 ball. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't mind seeing him shoot at that 15. But no, he's playing the uh, follow shot on the 14. Just like that. Okay, good shot. Mm -hmm. Well, he knew he was in good position. Even if the ball doesn't hang up, the one ball's in a bad spot. Yeah. And he knew he had some kind of leverage there to work with. But he might be in a little bit of a. If he doesn't have a good angle on the 15 to get up table, he could be in trouble. Yeah. I mean, he's got a good enough shot. He can probably draw between the 8 and 12 ball gap. Just like that. Good nice. shot. That was a good shot. He did have a good angle there. Brian, looking forward to meeting you tomorrow. Don't forget to bring our steaks with us. Uh -huh. I believe Brian. It's got it's himself, Jeff Hughes. Um, Anybody that has Jeff Hughes on their team, it's <laughs> a good team. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was when, when our team played in this a couple years ago. They were also here, so they did really well. I think Brian isn't Jeff on your team this year. I believe it is. So uh, Callahan on that team too. Uh, I believe so. Gosh, I forgot that team. I think it was uh, him, Jeff, Callie. Uh, help Jerry. me out, Brian. Who? It was Jerry Stella? Uh, Sotelo, yeah. I th he might be as well. Yeah. Mm, strong team. Yeah. Representing the 5-6-1. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So he can actually shoot this with a little bit of low inside and go for the breakout if he wants to. Um, which I think, if he's trying to run out, that's his best option. I don't like shooting this 10 ball now. I mean, yes, I'll have to go from 3 to the 1 to try to make something happen, but that 1 ball is makeable from where the Q, if the Q ball is down in the right spot where it is now, that 1 ball will be makeable in that corner. That's the only thing I don't like. And with that 12 being off the rail like it is, he can break this out right now. Nope, he played safe. Good shot. Okay. Very smart shot. And the good thing about that, too, is he put the 12 where it's still makeable. You know, in that corner pocket. You know. So, do you call the bank in that back corner pocket where the cluster is, and if you miss it, you leave it hanging? Or do you back cut it and go one, two, three rails off the bottom and go for the breakout? No, I'm going for the breakout. I'm going for the cut, for sure. Yeah. Because it's very natural. Yeah, you make it, comes three rails, hits the bottom rail. Oh. Two about rails. where his hand is. Oh, he's going two rails into it. Watch okay. the eight ball. Oh, wow. Okay. He got away with a good leave here, too. Oh. Here, John be. Love, Roy, Chris Brown, and Lynette. Oh, that's a good, that's not a bad team. That's good. I mean, nice. if you're in the platinum division, yeah, yeah. that's strong. Yeah. You guys are like a bunch of yeah. champions. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. That, that should be like our Moscone Cup team right there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he wasn't too concerned about making that, but that was a good shot. Yeah. <coughs> I wonder if he can. Um, the tempo might be in the way. Cut it in the side with a little left. And come three rails, you go up to the head rail, to the side rail, away from us, to the bottom rail, come back up. That's, Ooh. you know, that's... Uh, you're, you're, you're asking him to shoot an SVP shot. But, but the thing is, like, he's capable. Yeah. He's capable of this kind of a shot where certain other players aren't. Yeah. Wow. 
He, he went for the bank. Which, hey, you know what? That's ingenious. Yeah. Tries to block the hole up. Look at the gap he got in. Wow. Yeah. That was, uh, very, that was a pretty savvy little shot right there. He would have loved to have that three ball hang up. Oh, yeah. Bobby Parks in the chat with him. Uh, rooting on his boy Dave Stan. Bobby, how you doing, buddy? Thank you for checking in with us, Bob Parks. Donnie Preet's checking in with us. Preet is. Sorry, Dottie. Didn't mean to butcher it up, but you know how it goes. side of this even though he's at the table. Mm -hmm. I think I would actually bank the 12 down on top of the 3. Okay, yeah. That's actually uh, not a good shot. Because mm -hmm. Wesley can actually um, potentially freeze one to one to the 11 down table. Oh, yeah, that's right. Maybe not sell out a shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can, uh, can Dave jump? We're going to find out. <laughs> okay. I mean, according to the movie, no. Right. White man can't jump. But yeah. <laughs> we'll see. And now look what he did with the three ball. Yeah. See, that was a smart shot by Wesley. Wow. And that's a tight jump either way. I mean, gosh, getting over that. You yeah. Know. I think he's. I think you got to kick yeah. and try to get the cue ball back up to the head rail. Mm -hmm. Wesley's a, a big. He's. A, he's definitely in the driver's seat on this game right now because Dave's in kind of a bad spot. He's going to try to come off the edge of the one. I don't think he can thin it. Oh, yeah, that's no good. Well, you know what? It is good. We'll replace the one. Yeah, he's got the one in position. He's got ball in hand. He can probably make the one in the side. Oh, you know what? I didn't corner. even realize that Dave intentionally fouled there. Yeah. I, I see what he did, but uh, he didn't. Tried to put him against the rail. Yeah, he didn't. Um, he didn't take his time and execute the shot. I like to see him do this to the corner pocket, but to each his own. Well, I, I see what you're saying. To the opposite corner, I mean. Yeah, yeah, where Dave's sitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. It's a much closer pocket, so. Yeah. Very good shot. Okay. Yeah, he was playing very well. And I guess that's why he's in the finals. Exactly. Thank you for letting me sit and tune in with you guys. And, uh, you know, thanks for letting me ramble for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, Flip, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for coming and spending time with us. I know you, uh, you took a heck of a drive to get up here and yeah. got a heck of a drive back home. So. No worries, pal. And I, um, I'll be back somewhere in XPC or whenever we're coming around. So. Fantastic. Right, guys. Thanks, guys. You have a great rest of the night. Stay tuned. West Coast Challenge. Got great matches all weekend long. Please uh, like and share our stream. Thanks, guys.
They've made a nice break there. He made a ball on the break, has an opening shot. And um, so we'll see how he, uh, what he's going to option out. I think the solid is really his, his only opening shot. He, he does have a 14, but I think solids are going to be easier to work with for him. So let's check it out. Alright guys, uh, over on table 60 we have Brian Sinetti and Fernando Suarez. Uh, I think that is playing for uh, loser gets 4th place in the men's B division. It's a strong turnout, strong field there too. Winner keeps uh, trucking along, trying to get into the finals. So keep an eye on that one if, you watch, if you're on Facebook and you want to watch that. Go on to YouTube and then you can open up... Uh, both tables 60 and 62 and watch the finals with Dave Stem and Wesley White and the quarterfinals between Dave, I mean uh, Brian Sinetti and Fernando Suarez. <coughs> uh oh. What does Ray know that we don't know? Does Ray know Fernando? Maybe a cousin, brother, nephew, uncle? Well, he has a six. Five ball potentially could be a problem. It, it, five ball may go even if he gets lucky, if he gets the right angle. I don't know. It's hard to tell from here. this seven and try to open up that five and give him a shot here. He needs to get this game just to get on the board. Wesley is a master. He goes to five. Dave goes to four. Good here, Dave. Take your time, relax. You've made this shot a million times. You can make it one more time. Uh, James McCauley, no, the ladies' finals will be played after this finals. Uh, we want to make sure we had both finals on the feature table. Oh, Dave, you dropped your elbow and just tried to steer the ball. The ladies' finals will be between Katie Bowes and Yvette Fernandez.
Katie Pose will have to beat Fernandez, uh, Yvette Fernandez twice. It is a true double elimination. Uh, I'm not sure if Yvette is a master or not. Katie is. Katie's the defending champion from last year. So. We'll see what happens. Meanwhile, we're gonna, we have the men's finals here. Wesley has to beat David twice. David did win the hot seat. But I'll tell you, Wesley is, uh, he's dialed in. He's hitting the ball really nicely so far in this match. A couple of the matches prior too, so. in the side 12 come across for the nine okay he's gonna go up down table and then back up maybe Danielle Thomas all right thank you very much uh, so Yvette also is a master and that'll be a 4-4 race between Yvette and Katie Katie does have to beat her twice Yvette won the hot seat over Katie Double Hill, so uh, I'm sure Katie will have to get a little revenge there and come back and try to get her in that. Be a great match between the two. All right. And I like the way Leslie uh, played that rack out. Very nice. He is looking super comfortable right now. He's in the zone. Oh yeah, he's just, he, he's dialed in, folks. Wesley uh, on the hill, four nothing. Wesley is a master, he goes to five, Dave goes to four. And he's breaking. So Wesley wins this first set, and they play a second set. Wesley looking uh, pretty much on cruise control in this match. Danielle Martin uh, rooting for Wesley. Made a ball on the break. Probably like the 10 ball. I think solids look good here. Danielle Thomas, this is the men's A division between uh, Wesley and Dave. The B division is still going on. On table f 60, we have uh, Brian Sinetti, Fernando Suarez playing for uh, third and fourth right now. This is the first set of the men's Finals, Wesley has to win twice. So he's looking good to win the first set here. He's up 4 nothing, And uh, playing lights out. No worries, Jamie. Everything's good. Missed many shots, I'll tell you that much. He, uh, he hit that ball pretty good, too. With a nice soft touch. <laughs> uh, Thomas Morgan is pretty funny. 
says he's going to change his nickname, Min Cash. <laughs> it's funny, to Major Cash. <laughs> I like it. All right, well, Dave has solids here. He definitely has options. Seven float down soft for the one. Oh, nice, even better. Uh, take the six and the one. And you can come up for uh, walls up table. Dave really, really needs to win this game, regardless of whether he wins or loses a set. He just has to get on the board. You have to get out, put a game on your side, get a little confidence. Came up a little short on the two ball, but he's okay. Cut the two on the side and just drag the cue ball of the head string back out for the three, or even farther down for the, I guess that's the four ball. Janice LaRocco, as always, a huge supporter. Thank you. Her and Nick kicking it at the house, watching pool all day. I tell you, life is good at the LaRocco house. Uh-oh. Dave came up a little bad on that. He didn't drag the cue ball to the headstring. He, almost, he possibly would have scratched it if the 14 wasn't there. <coughs> Back cut to three in. Oh, he's going to be stitched. That's no good. He's laughing like, what the hell did I just do? Because he knows better. He's a very accomplished player. That's why he won the hot seat. He's in the finals. I will say it, uh, it does take the mental toll on you after a while. You know, you, it's, it's a long days. It's grinding. I'm gonna go for the chip shot. Uh oh, no bueno. All right, Wesley with golden opportunity to uh, shut him out here. It does have work to do because the 15, 12, and then the 11 and 14. So. It's not like it's a, it's an automatic walk in the park here. He may even just play a safety here just to get the balls opened up. That, uh, I mean, as good as he shoots, he ex I expect him to go ahead and run out. So I'm going to play the 14. He is left-handed, so he can draw back. And the cue ball right back down between the 11 and the rail, 9 to the 15 to open that up. We'll see. Okay. Same, same uh, point of view there. I think you shoot the 9 for the 15 here. Slowly work your two treble balls out of the way there. He doesn't waste any time firing the ball, I promise you. Thomas Morgan, yes, you absolutely can. Uh, jump cues are allowed. Robert Gulski. Um, Wesley is a master, he goes to five. David is a regular player, he goes to four. Wesley at the table. He has to double dips, Dave. Dave beat him in the hot seat. You know, it, it's funny, I'm watching Wesley and his necklace dragging on his cue. That would absolutely drive me bonkers. I'm, bad. I'm a mental case like that. All right, set number one goes to Dave Stem. All right, they're going to take a few minute break in between sets. Set one goes to Wesley Waite. 5-0 with a skunk on that one. 
Dave wants to go mentally regroup. And, uh, wow, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, he did use a jump cue earlier, uh, Thomas. Uh, talking about Dave's Tim going with the jump. He did not make the hit, but uh, he used his jump cue. So they are allowed. So, you know what? Well, they're going to take a few minute uh, quick break. I'm going to do the same. You want to go uh, refresh your drinks? Now's the time to do it. Um, as soon as the men's are over, we're going to have the ladies' finals. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you're, uh, you're prepared. We got a lot of good pool coming in. So hang tight and we'll be right back. This is Gary G with Extreme Pool Challenge. We're live in Kissimmee, Florida for the 2022 West Coast Challenge. Hang tight and we'll be right back with you.
All right, guys, Gary G back here with you. Oh, just waiting on Wesley and David to get back. They're taking a few minute break, and they actually had to uh, bring the old score sheet up and get a new score sheet so that they can document the uh, matches in the computer system, keep everything up to speed. So we'll be starting here in just a minute. Meanwhile, that's uh, Brian Sinetti at the table in the middle. He leads 1 0 over Fernando Suarez. Winner of that match goes on. Loser ties for 5th, 6th. That is the men's B division, which is a pretty strong division in itself. These guys certainly can play in the A division. But the uh, line has to be drawn somewhere. <coughs> Jeremy Bell, what's going on, buddy? You going to be around this weekend? Stop in and bring me some ribs. Feel like I deserve it from you. buddy Dave hoping to get a reprieve Dave would love to get a reprieve in the second match there made it a couple of enforced errors and Wesley just ran away with it played really I mean jam up Wesley played pretty much flawless uh, that first match really didn't make any major mistakes rub it in Jeremy I'm eating the ribs now Hook a brother up, man. Get your butt down here. I ain't that far from you. We're just down the street. Mm -hmm. 
Matter of fact, I need somebody to help me commentate. So come on down here, bring me some ribs and commentate with me. Carlos Fernandez checking in. weekend nine ball starts tomorrow morning at uh, about 8 a.m. and goes on deep into the night <coughs> team event starts Saturday bright and early three divisions in the team and the team uh, we have the bronze silver gold over well over 100 teams this year involved in all of them, so that's a nice number to have. A lot of events, a lot of players. Oh, Danielle Thomas, yes. Um, if you want to do it uh, tonight or tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will probably be a little bit better because uh, we are going to... Uh, we're kicking off the men's finals right now, but de definitely come see us tomorrow so we can uh, talk about the junior program that you are working with diligently. So thank you for reminding me. Ray Rangel, are you a comedian? Have I been working out? Only when I'm at the buffet. This is the second set. Wesley did it win the first set. David Stem was the king of the hill. True double elimination, so Wesley has to defeat him twice. Uh, Danielle, that would be perfect. Uh, we'd love to have you and, and Sophia Mass come down and hang out. And uh, like I said, we definitely want to talk to you and her about the uh, junior program and all, all the things that are going on. We're, we've always seen a big surge in the junior program of people like Sophia Mast. Um, it, it's just a big, it's just a great thing for the kids. It's a great outlet, especially when the parents are involved. So, yes, definitely uh, come see us tomorrow. We'll definitely do that. So, thank you, Danielle, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Go get some rest and relax. And here we go, guys. We are underway. This is the men's finals in the A division. Dave Stem breaking. He won the hot seat. Wesley has to defeat him twice. Wesley didn't win the first set, convincingly. So now we are off to the last set, the final set of the men's division. Wesley, a master player, he goes to five. Dave Stem goes to four. So, as soon as this match is over, we'll have the ladies' finals between Yvette Fernandez, Queen of the Hill, Katie Bowes, defending champion from last year. Katie will have to come back and beat Yvette twice. It is a race to four. They're both masters, both ladies. So, um, Yvette won Queen of the Hill over Katie in a double hill match, so I know Katie would certainly love to, uh, you know, redeem that and, and get a little revenge. So, 
as soon as this match is over, the ladies' finals will begin. So hang tight. <laughs> Joe Soderberg. Uh, yeah, I play in the tournament, Joe. I mainly to get away from the computers for a while. <coughs> I did not do well this year, so try my luck at nine ball tomorrow. Uh-oh. I can tell it's getting late in the day. Uh, Dave's struggling a little bit here. He's not staying down on the shot quite as long as he uh, was when he was dialed in playing really well. So Running through the tournament, he, uh, he was staying down on the shots a little bit more in focus. So it becomes a long day. Nice shot there by Wesley. Good bank. Try to bank the five. I don't know if he's going to try to hit it firm and stiffen it or cross over bank. Okay, he was able to. I guess the angle wasn't quite as steep as I had appeared. He is not wasting any time. He's dialed in and he's just, he's seeing it, shooting it, and getting out. So. He's trying to see what his options are for the four ball. I don't know if he can play it in the same pocket, get around and play it in the same pocket as the six. If it goes by the 11 in the bottom left, I know he can bring it back out and go into the side on the right. He's looking to see if it goes by the 15, see if he can bring it back around. The longest I've seen him stand at the table uh, in the last two matches he's played. Uh, that's pretty strong, Tom. He's uh, almost the whole team sitting there watching him, trying to root him on for the win. He's trying to bring that money home to Atlanta. Take a couple days off of driving for a living. as hard as he's been looking at that shot. So now you gotta force it and try to come back out and give yourself a shot on the eight. Yep, he tried to force it. And he didn't waste any time. He's a quick shooter. His tempo at the table is like, I see it, boom, gotta go. Now, I don't know, I think the four and 15 are tied up, so that's gonna make, uh, Dave's going to have a little work here just to get that breakout on that. He's got a couple of balls that he can use, so he definitely needs to uh, 
win this first game and capitalize on this because if he doesn't, his mindset is going to be not the best. Well, I'm surprised he tried it from there. Taking away one of your options for a breakout. Doesn't get any easier. Well, he's not making it any easier on himself. Um, safety play. He just called safe. Not giving Wesley anything really to look at. Well, I think if I'm Wesley, well, if he has a ball in hand, I guess Dave could shoot the 15 in the upper right corner where Wesley's standing now. So I guess keeping a ball in hand really isn't an option. a small window. Surprised Dave didn't at least ask to have somebody watch it. You know they have respect for each other. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Had he hit that a little harder, it was in. <laughs> oh, it says first place money. It might cover gas. The price of gas today. I don't know. Dave's in a pickle here because the 15 doesn't go by the 4. He might be able to shoot it in the side now and just uh, try to get it out of the way. But you have to make sure you get an open shot on the 14. You don't want to have to try to shoot the combo from down table. Side. If he's got the gap in there and he can hit the 14 clean to pocket it, um, I gotta like him from here. Just come back out to the center of the table, shoot the 10 in the side. Or if you want to come around the table and play the 10 in the same pocket, uh, shooter's choice and really probably the angle of the shot just dictates what the right choice is here. done. Now you just focus on making the ball. Come across and play the eight in the same pocket. Don't scratch. Wow. That's fatigue. That's that's just fatigue from a long day. Wow. 
Wow. You didn't waste any time with that. Taste him certainly had an opportunity there. Wasn't able to capitalize on it. Was we uh, certainly feeling good about that? When you're giving up a game and altering a break, you certainly don't want to lose the first game and then become a 5 3 race. That's really tough action to overcome against a good player. Everything's uh, you know, nothing really other than the 4 8, nothing's tied up. Could possibly, if you take solids, you could shoot the 2 now, clip the 4, and probably have a shot on the 5 or the 6. That's exactly what he did. And he has a shot on the 2, 5, or 6, or 7. So it's a good position here to, uh, man, I hate to say it, but there's no reason not to get out here. the eight and the side the four is closer to the center of the table so you may be able to follow this around two to three rails if you can get straight in on the four and the side he's in good position he may end up stopping on the seven to shoot the um, the one oh. my man Bob Calvac what's up Bob yeah, uh, the ladies' finals is uh, right after this match. Katie Bowes and Yvette Fernandez. True double elimination. Katie has to beat her twice and race to four. Both ladies are masters. So, definitely looking for an exciting match here with those two. Yvette is a... Uh, when you watch her, she just she pockets everything. She she's her position might be not as um, refined, but she doesn't miss. So I'm very excited to watch the ladies' finals here in just a little bit. So hang tight, guys. Don't go anywhere. Hmm. 
think Wesley's one of his main concerns is the 15 because of the seven ball block in it. Trying to see if he can get to the nine ball. If he can get to the nine ball, he can maybe play the five, 15 in the side. If not, he's going to have to go to the 13 and try to come back up. Wesley's been on fire so far uh, the first match. Took a little break in between and uh, second game of the second match right now. And Wesley had to beat Dave two sets and he won the first one. Anybody that can beat Ray Rangel is a master in this tournament. Um, Ray, to be a master, there's a couple couple qualifications. Uh, one is obviously um, if you've won this tournament or first or second place in um, either division, eight ball or nine ball. Um, some of it has to do with just known skill levels. They use uh, your league stats, Fargo, um, again, just known playing ability, whether you're in action a lot, gambling, whatever. Uh, and it's kind of a, uh, a little bit of a judgment call. There are players that are on the cusp that they don't make masters, but they, they let them have to kind of earn it as far as in this tournament is concerned. So there's a couple of uh, different things that kind of determine the level. Wow, very nicely done. But as you're watching him play, you can see why he, uh, he is considered a master player in this tournament. done. I tell you, Wesley is on fire. He's in stroke, man. He's in the zone. Playing really well. He changed his lifestyle a little bit. Um, lost some weight. Uh, you know, just kind of watching what he's doing over the last year or two. And I think it's starting to pay off for his game, too. It's, uh, you know, healthy living. Playing really well. Oh, looks like the ladies have already started on around table 58. So maybe uh, they didn't want to wait as the night got too late into this. So maybe we can, uh, after this set is over, they can jump on around to this table. Hopefully. Definitely want to make sure we see some of the ladies. So if you're on Facebook and you want to watch the ladies finals, go to YouTube and they are table 58. We didn't realize that they had started. Nobody told me. But they put him down on to 58 because it was getting a little late and they didn't want to be here uh, until the hours of the morning. Ray Rangel, you would be a triple master player in this event. Chris McIntyre, Atlanta, getting put on the map for the pool players. That is what Atlanta is known for, and they have all kinds of good pool players in Atlanta. They've been on the map, but I understand what you're saying. Dave making it a little bit tough on himself here.
another side view here. You can see uh, Katie and Yvette down on the last table. Dave's down on the first table at the table. And then in the middle, we have Fernando Suarez in the black shirt playing Brian Snetty. Brian's standing at the table with the baseball cap on, holding his cue. Dave is on the board. Was, he was in much need of getting one on the board. Wesley staying with the conventional head on break. And crushing the rack. Unfortunately, he scratched. And this is huge, huge, huge for Dave. If, uh, now it is in the kitchen. No playing VNEA rules, so scratches in the kitchen. But this is huge for Dave because if he can win this game. It gives him that confidence to say, you know what, all right, I'm back in the match. I got my second win. He got, uh, he got shut out the first match, so he let a couple games slip away from him. And I know he can do it because I've seen him. I've played him enough times to know that I never like the, uh, I never like my outcome of it. So, so in the latest final, Katie Bose takes game number one. It is a race to four in the ladies. Katie has to beat Yvette twice. Two sets. Katie Bow is the defending champion. So she would love to regain this title. Not an easy task by any means. But if anybody can do it, she's certainly capable. If Dave was trying to play so he can draw back into the one. Well, that's his problem ball. He needs to get that one ball out of there. Not sure if he has the right angle for that. So we'll find out. Go for the bank now. But that angle doesn't look like like he can do it. I don't think he can cross it over. I think he can double kiss. And I certainly don't think from there you can tighten it up when hit it stiff. Well, you did better than I thought he did from up on up or crossing it over like that so that turned out not terrible unfortunately he did leave the 10 ball so Wesley has that angle it does not say it's an easy shot by any means so well, I think the 8 may be blocking him from the 11 to go up table it looks like it
He could potentially play it safe. He could thin off the 10 and send the cue ball up there by the 14 and 13. 10 going to the side rail and blocking the shot on the two ball. He could go for the bank cross side or the cut in the side. None of which are uh, all that appealing. All right, going for the bank. Hmm. Tightened it up a little bit. Came up a little short. So again, Dave has an opportunity to really, if he can steal this game, he is definitely looking good for the match. If you can just hold serve here. Wesley has to go to five. Dave has to go to four. It is alternate break. It's a little firmer than he wanted. I don't know if he'll take the combo or just duck up and play a nice safety here and try to lock up. Lock the cue ball right on the back of that five. Oh no, he left him a shot. He's not supposed to do that. Nor did he mean to. Oh, new shot by Wesley. Not sure the angle on the 15 in the side or not. 14 13 is not wired, but he may be able to throw the 13 in. I'll have to see what he look, what uh, what the shot looks like. He's calling them. Definitely closer than it appeared. soft follow. He's worried about running into the six and the six bumping into the 15. He's going to hit it firm. Okay. Well, Wesley is just firing balls in. the table. Shoot the eight in the bottom left. He might have to try, still try to back cut that. Not an easy shot by any means. Now well, he called for the corner. Not a fun shot here. You know you don't like it when you have to get up and look at it three or four times. It's like, oh my god. Mm. 
Well, this is exactly what Dave needs. Now if you can just keep your composure, get a second wind here just to hold him through the next couple games here. You might just snap this off. Yeah, I didn't want to tie that up. I mean, he's got an easy lockup. Just roll up on the one, be safe, and be done with it. But it's frustrating when you get in the, uh, to the table and everything's open and you hit a shot and tie something up or a mental mistake. Juice on that ball. He's okay though. Two ball or six ball. Probably the six roll forward. Don't scratch. He was definitely sweating that one. Yvette just came with a monster bank shot on the last table. Safe, she says. That's going to be a nip and tuck all the way. I'm going to love to see that. Oh, Dave. Thought he came up. Thought he was going to come real bad on that shot. Is setting in. And he left Wesley a nice straight and shot on the eight. Wow. He just got a little bit, a little bit more angle on that four on the side than he wanted. It was tough. So the table down on 58. If you're on Facebook, jump on uh, YouTube. That way you can pull up any of the tables that you want or all of them. My man Tim Majors. Yeah, that, that, uh, definitely gonna eat up Dave. But uh, you know, unfortunately, it's a fact of life. As we get older, the fatigue sets in. These long days are they're grinding. It's hard to stay mentally and physically focused. Bill says, ouch, that miss hurt. You know what hurts, Jeremy? You're not bringing me ribs. That's what really hurts. <laughs> well, he tried safe, but unfortunately he did not play a very productive one. Got a nice shot on the five. The sevens open up to four, eight, six. His only problem ball is the eight ball. Maybe the one in the three. I don't know if the one passes the three in the upper pocket, but certainly it's uh, very workable. So. Uh, 
what you heard there was Yvette had to play a jump shot. She jumped the ball in and the cue ball went off the table. So giving Katie ball in hand with two balls plus the eight ball left. So Katie in a real nice position here to get a two game lead here to close this out. Daniel Martin um, go on YouTube and the ladies are on table 58. This uh, eight ball. All right, Katie uh, advanced with that game. She has a two to nothing lead. Mm. Wesley not going to be real happy about that. Tried to open up the eight. I think it's 8-10. He clipped it, but he didn't get a breakout. Enrique Gamez, what's going on, my brother? Just talking to David Cypress about you yesterday. Uh, yeah, Daniel Martin, if you go on YouTube, you can watch them both at the same time. You can open up both matches so that you can watch them simultaneously. Uh, Wesley's match and Katie's match. Wesley getting himself into a pickle. He's going to have to make a little jump shot. It's, it's, it's half ball because he's going halfway between over the 11 and 15. I, I know he's going to make a good hit. Has a real good opportunity to pocket it, but the problem is he's not going to end up with anything but an off-angle bank on the eight probably. But, hey, whatever it is, it is. got to take what the table gives you. If you're at the table shooting, then better than your opponent. So. No, that's brutal. Oh, that is freaking brutal. Yes, yeah, too. I'll see if uh, I'll do my best to remember, buddy. I promise. This is huge for Dave if he can steal this game. Certainly going to keep the pressure on uh, Wesley. <laughs> Sheesh. I know, it's so much to ask. dollar for every time somebody said, hey, give a shout out and let somebody know, hey, blah, blah, blah. I'd be able to buy a pack of gum. Cheap gum at that, but still. Oh, 
Oh, okay. <laughs> no worries, Steel. We're all good, brother. Okay, Dave looking good here. This is going to be big if he uh, gets this game. Keeps a lot of heat on Wesley. Wesley ran him over in the first set. Dave made some mistakes. Of course, Wesley capitalized on it, as he's supposed to. Now it's a little different. Now the pressure's on. All right. We got a match, folks. We got a race to two. Wesley has to win five. Dave has to win two. Score is three to two. We are right here in the heart of a phenomenal match, phenomenal tournament. 190-something players went down to the final two in April. Start nine ball tomorrow morning. Tim says that was an exciting rack, definitely. That's why April is so fun because you know, it, it can turn on a dime. It really can. The momentum turns on a dime, the, the, everything. The, uh, the intensity, the strategy, I mean, it is, a lot of people don't like it, but I think it's a great game. And Wesley's sticking with the traditional head-on break. Been crushing the break, I mean, he just generates a lot of power. Fortunately, he's, he came up dry. Um, yes, Stu, I think there will be. Not everybody can c come out on Wednesday. Uh, get here Wednesday just, you know, for the uh, April. Not all starting on Friday, so a lot of people are coming in tonight. And they're, you know, take one day off of work versus taking three days off of work. So definitely nine ball has a little bit more. That's in the A division. I don't know what's in the B division. Oh, he's for sure a solid player. And a nice guy. Leslie, super nice guy. Very class act. And Dave Stem is always too. He's a super nice guy too. I like Dave a lot. Boy, this is big if Dave wins this game. He's on the hill and breaking. Fernandez Suarez advances over Brian Snetty. Brian takes fourth place in the men's B division. Fernando moves forward, trying to get to the finals. All right, well, Wesley's got some problems. That four ball is in a really bad spot, tied up right next to the 9, 15, and 12 ball of David's. So, I hear Dominic Dunn in the room somewhere. Oh, no, that's somebody's baby. I'm sorry.
Uh, Tim, Dave currently plays out of Strokers, Palm Harbor, Florida. Uh, originally from Maryland. He's been down here for several years, anyway. Oh, Jason Sherman heard it too. Not sure if that's where Wesley was looking to get, but he may end up shooting the one into the. Uh, I don't think he'll shoot that into the. Eight man. Oh, the six ball. Okay. Try to get in there and open that up. Not bad. Not bad. He got two out of three out of the pocket. And he's got a good safety here. He can roll up on the two and just jack him up behind uh, the two ball or the four ball, I guess. But I like the ball better. I didn't say that, Thomas. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, he, Wesley just called the four. He's going to try to play the four behind the 12. And it's not a bad shot because if he doesn't go, he's got the four hanging in the pocket. So then it's kind of a two-way. He's hit it soft not to make it. Oh, freeze on the back of the nine. That's actually a real good shot because he might not be able to shoot the uh, 11. Yeah, Jason, I thought about that, but I kind of felt like um, the safety behind the seven. You can come off that bottom rail a little bit better than if, with the Behind the two, you kind of got to go two or three rails. I figured behind the two would have been, you know. Either way, he shot the four and, and uh, pocketed the 12 and left the four hanging in there. My man, Ed Acosta. I will see you tomorrow, my brother. Representing Miami. Oh, man, look at this. What a freaking shot. Fortunately, he's jacked up over the two now. Jamie McCauley liked uh, J Jason's uh, assessment to get behind the seven ball. Yeah, you can't fault either one of these guys. They're both playing well, and that's why they are in the finals. Bill Bigford, and he's uh, rooting for his boy Dave. That's not going to work. Yeah, the fatigue factor is definitely sitting in. Um, Dave's struggling a little bit here. He was playing a lot crisper earlier in the day, as everybody does. These long days, the mental fatigue. The physical fatigue takes takes its toll on you. Wesley, on the other hand, still shooting the ball very crisp. And he is not afraid to juice the ball. Katie B with a monster bank shot on the eight ball to go up three nothing in the first set. She is playing well. Looks like Wesley is uh, going to get on the hill here. Clock at the seven, get straight into the eight. All right, Wesley White on the hill, four to two.
All right, Dave to break. Trailing two games to four. Dave has to win four games to win this tournament. He has two of them. Wesley has to get to five. He is on the hill with the four. Dave made a ball in the break, but uh, ugh. not a lot of fun here. Got two sixes tied up to five, eight, elevens tied up. Um, you know, you got options. I mean, you got problems with in the 15, two six. Yeah, so there's issues here. This is worse than the Jersey Housewife show. I mean, you have major problems on this table here. one ball to work with and that's uh. even if he gets out these or these other balls but keep firing away man you gotta you gotta work with it here wonder if that five passes the eight in this bottom left corner if it does he can maybe shoot the seven use the three to get up on top of it kind of he's shooting a three down on the bottom right again you know you're shooting your ducks, but you're leaving the hardest shot on the table with that five ball. It's not going to get any easier. Digger, the deeper with every shot. down Delaware or wherever you're from in the Northeast. This is, yes, if you play in any sanctioning body league, you can play in this. Uh, BCA, APA, Valley, um, ACS. As long as you're a league player, you can qualify for the tournament. Wow, huge, what a freaking out. 
and get that five ball loose. That was strong. We are double hill, folks. One game for the, to be champion of the 2022 West Coast Challenge. Ryan holding down New York nowadays. Okay. Are you in the city or are you upstate? Break and the ball is dropping. The 13 goes by the 11. And he's got a real, real good break and run here. If the 13 passes the 11, if it doesn't, might have to take the 3. The 4 7. Okay, okay, so the 13 looks like it does pass. Okay, uh, I don't see any issues for him not to get out here. It's all about that opening shot with the 13. Because the stripes are definitely, uh, are definitely the right choice here. right on the spot for the nine on the side, forward to the rail, side rail, across table. He you know, came up a little short, so you can just draw nine on the side, draw over. Just like that. Wow. For the win, a break and run. What a strong, strong out. Wesley White is your 2022 eight ball, A division men's single champion. And he played just fantastic. I mean, just fantastic. Congratulations to him. We're gonna see if we can get him over here in a few minutes. Give us a few words. Talk to us for a few minutes. Um, meanwhile, the ladies, going on it. Uh, Katie has, looks like, two balls in the eight ball. Tough shot on the uh, three ball. Came up a little short. She had perfect position, but she did not give Yvette a shot to, to see here. That's how you close it out right there, Tim. Break and run, buddy. Just like you said, you said, yeah, I see a break and run. Big pimp and Wesley. All right, congratulations. Represent uh, Atlanta area. <coughs> oh my God, Yvette made the shot. I didn't even think she could see the ball. And she's here, she is shooting and running out. Dave Stem, buddy, great, great tournament. Hey, man, you made a strong showing right there. Double hill, you can't get any better than that. Long day. He plays very good, but you, but you played great. Well, you know that's how you close out a tournament, breaking a run. No, you can't feel bad. Double hill. 
you, you can't do anything about it. And he earned it. He played great. But you both played. You you deserved. You had a great tournament there. Good job, buddy. See you tomorrow. All right, Yvette. Uh, I hear I didn't think she had a shot, and she uh, runs out the rack to uh, get on the board. Trails three to one. So on YouTube, go to table 58, and you can watch the ladies. Katie Bowes, 3-1, to one, Yvette over Yvette Fernandez. It is a race to four. This is the first set of the finals. It is true double elimination. So uh, um, Katie has to beat Yvette twice. She's on the hill for the first set, so if she can close it out, let's see what happens. <laughs> Thomas Wesley slight more than mini cash. That's funny. All right, guys, uh, hang tight. Um, I'm not sure if they will, if the ladies will jump ship and come over to the other table for the, if it gets to a second set. But uh, hang tight. I, don't, I certainly don't want to talk to them while they're in the middle of the set. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. So uh, it's worth hanging out for. We'll keep this side camera on so you can kind of see what's going on. Again, if you're on Facebook, jump over to YouTube, go to 58. You can watch both angles, side angle and uh, the front angle. Watch the ladies' finals going on, so hang tight, and uh, I'll be right back with you. This is Gary G with Extreme Pool Challenge at the 2022 West Coast Challenge in Kissimmee, Florida.
Alright guys, well, KDP advanced, wins the first set 4-1, to one. so now they go to a true double elimination, she has to win the second set, so we'll hang on, we'll see if we can get them on the feature table or not.
All right, guys, we are in for a treat. Ladies, final race to four. Katie Bowes, Yvette Fernandez, table 62. Katie trying to repeat defending champion. for a treat. So they played the first set on table 58. Katie advanced 4-1 to one to win the first set of a true double elimination tournament. And there she goes trying to uh, hold off Yvette in the second set. So sit down, buckle up, and get ready because this is going to be a good one, folks. All right, here we go. Katie wins the, wins the lag. She gets the opening break. They're both masters, so it is a race to four. Um, Yvette won the hot seat over Katie, double hill. Katie certainly uh, looking to get revenge on that. She did in the first hit with a nice four to one victory. So now she has to just keep that momentum going. Stay focused and try to hold off the event. Steve Parmo checking us out. All right. Got Biscuit Greenlee checking in from Port Lucy. What's up, Matt? Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Pretty good action on the break. She made the six ball on the side. Ideally, you'd like to take solid from here if it's possible, and it is. I'll probably use the five ball as my opening shot. Let's see what she chooses here.
find number one support team, Nick and Janice LaRocca. <coughs> Laroca hanging in there all day and night with us from uh, Melbourne. Always a big supporter of XBC, and we certainly thank you. They're rooting on their girl, Katie. Let's see if Katie can pull it off. She uh, went to thin the four and just play a safe roll on the cue ball of the reel. Came up a little short. He bent his ball in hand. But she definitely has a couple of troubled balls here tied up, so. See so yeah, how she's going to attack this, try to go after the run out here. Antonio, uh, Antonio Payton rooting on Yvette and uh, Alex rooting on his mom. You guys will actually be very, very proud. She is a tremendous player. I've seen her several times at several tournaments. Always a smile on her face. Very, very solid competitor. Still has to contend with a ten and eight ball. Oh, came up a little bit high on that. We don't want to have stayed down below to shoot either the nine or I think it's the fourteen. Trying to kick the nine in and get get uh, get a lead there, making it tough on Katie. She does have the two ball hanging in the corner. That is definitely an option for her. Possible shoot the one into the two to open up those. <coughs> That's what it looks like she's trying to do. action there. Well, I believe Yvette has enough to see the nine, make the nine. And she did. I don't know if she tried to run into the 12. Either way, she missed that and the 10. So the 10 8 is still a major problem. <coughs> Certainly um, thin the four, cut it in. If she wants to uh, run into the ten, she can use a little spin. Or not worry about it now, but I see at least a two. She's playing safe. Huh? 
Okay, good shot. Smart shot. It's like playing chess. You gotta move your pieces and get them in place. She can bank it, so I'm not sure really what her options are. She could bank it, and she damn near did bank it. What a tremendous shot! She is one of the most natural ball pocketers I've ever seen. She just pockets balls so freaking good. All right, you gotta shoot the one. <clears throat> I'd probably go between the 12, I mean the rail and the 12, call the two, so that it opens up the pocket. You don't want the 12 hanging in there. Come back across for the seven. That's the third time they try to get that two ball in and it won't fall. <laughs> well, good. That's a, she has to feel fortunate to be at the table right here. Even though she doesn't have anything great to shoot at. <clears throat> Not sure if she called the twelve behind the two. Now this is a real, real nice opportunity for Katie here. The seven ball's a little bit of an issue. I almost think I'd take the four back to the one, back to the seven, just because. because of the seven ball where it's placed in your options there. Well, hello, Miss Denise. What are you doing up so late? She would have liked a little more angle on the one <coughs> so that when she pockets the cue ball, she can get the cue ball back to the other side of the table. I don't know how much angle she has here. <laughs> Denise, listen to me. That'll put you to sleep. I can bore anybody to sleep like that. Gonna have to come with a good shot here on the one and the seven because she's not gonna get a, much of an angle to come back out, so she's gonna have to take a tough shot on the seven. Pretty makeable, but in the finals of a tournament, it certainly isn't uh, a gimme.
Oh, he, sh he hit that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Rich Johnson checking us out. Rich holding down APA in Brevard County, the new APA league operator. Doing a great job up there. concerned with position on the eight ball here. Nice shot on the seven. She just has to bear down, concentrate on the eight ball here. She hit the shot earlier in a different game, different match. It's the same shot, and just a nice draw stroke, draw, and just draw to the side rail. Nice shot, just like that. Very nice. Game one. Katie Bowes. This is the final set of the finals. Katie won the first set, 4-1 true double elimination format, which means Katie has to beat Yvette twice. Yvette was the queen of the hill. She won the hot seat match over Katie earlier this afternoon. Katie, Katie has uh, fought hard and grinded her way back into the finals. Looking to uh, repeat. She was last year's champion. She came back to defend this year. So we'll see how she does. She's on the right path. All right, Yvette with the break. Ooh. Man, does she generate a lot of power. She has got a powerful stroke. But uh, unfortunately, she came up with a scratch. Everything, for the most part. Um, Do they all come down here? For the most part, everything's opened up. 15-7 in the middle of the table is a little bit of an issue. It is in the kitchen, behind the line. Uh, it is an open table. So what are you going to take if this is your opportunity here? Nine ball is going to be a problem because of the three. Six and two are, um, that's a little bit of work because it's at the bottom of the table there. And you have to get real good on the six. I, I believe the four passes through. The 14 and six ball in the bottom right corner. If it does, then she can follow forward, come down table, probably hit the 2 6 combo, maybe. Wasn't an easy shot, but she's got some. Actually, she opened up some of the clutter. If you take stripes, nine ball is still going to be your initial issue because of the three. But you don't have anything great to start with other than the three 
I just want to shoot a funny combo on the 2-6, which is no bargain. Okay, she's going after the solids. And she just tied up that 9-10 a little bit, so that's going to be an issue. table which would be really a key shot here to open up the uh, 10. She may even be able to go forward. I don't know if she can go forward actually all the way up into the 15 and open that up too. Well, the 14 actually goes. I don't think the 8 goes in the bottom right in the same pocket. So, position here is definitely going to be tricky. She's going to run into the uh, eight ball, so you might as well hit it with, not smash it, but hit it with all the pace to get it out of there and open it up. Or play the 14 off the six. 
try to draw draw the cue ball uh, away from it. But uh, either way, you're taking a chance of uh, turning balls loose and stuff running around. So something to move. Got to move the furniture here a little bit. Real good. shot that was. Okay, he's playing really well. So if has got a little bit of work here. She's going to start off with the two ball. She's going to have to turn the ball, cue ball loose a little bit here. Seven ball is a little bit of an issue. But Yvette is such a good ball pocketer. So effortless. She just gets down, pulls the trigger. Position play might not be as quite as sharp, but oh no. But, no. But her ball pocketing is just off the charts. Of course it is, you know, after midnight. They've been playing for 14 hours, so of course you're going to be tired, but... All right, Kate. Katie takes game number two. She's up 2-0 in a race to four. My man Flip, tuning in, mile marker, 144. You are making some time, brother. Be safe out there. Rick McDafford, we're all tired, brother. But we come back every year because we love it. Players. Vendors, streamers, one big happy West Coast family. We're all here.
Didn't hit that one quite. I mean, she hit it with pretty decent power, but not quite as square. And so the balls didn't open up quite as nicely as they have in some of the other racks. So we got a cluster. Seven ball on the spot. The eight ball just below it. 11, 3, 14 just below that. Then you have the 9, 15 in the middle, 13. So. So Lucas, is that can part of the time you were stalking me or just, you know, knowing me? Time flies though. Hope you're doing good, buddy. She makes it look so easy. You've out representing uh, South Florida? Miami and, and uh, Broward area. Just pockets balls like effortlessly. Never looks like she's doing anything, but she just gets the job done. That's funny, Lucas. Well, you look great, man. Keep up the good work. driver's seat here. She has an option to probably come over whenever that is the uh, 12 ball. Come up for the 9, for the 15, for the 10, to the 14, to the 8. It's really about just staying focused, staying in line. Alright, 15, and the 9.
She might have to come back for the nine. Shoot to fifteen. Draw back a little bit for the ten to the fourteen to the nine or fifteen, ten, nine, one way or another. All right, Janice, thank you for you and Nick hanging out with us all day. We certainly appreciate your support. We hope to see you guys real soon. And uh, we'll, we'll fill you in on the outcome tomorrow. May you dream of many runouts. Good shot there by Katie. I like that too because she let the stroke go. It's good to let that stroke loose. And keeps that confidence going nicely. <coughs> so you just a uh, nice soft follow here. I don't like trying to punch it across. That's what she's looking at. And then she's looking at the shot from the 14 to the 8. So when she shoots it, she has to get the cue ball off the rail. So that she can kind of dig into it. In case she needs to hit it with a stun shot. Too, too much. <coughs> Looks like she's rolling forward. Shot, Katie B. Wow, what a nice out that was. I thought she could have hit that 14 with just a little stun. Maybe she was afraid of uh, maybe getting a little old of it too much and coming back behind the three. But nonetheless, it was a phenomenal out. Great shot. On the hill, 3 0. A race to four. Well, we had a dry break by event, which is a little surprising as well as she strikes the ball, especially on the break. She has such a powerful stroke, it generates so much energy.
Well, I think the solids are the shot here. Two on the side. For the one ball. Six ball. Five doesn't pass the three, so that's going to be your... That's the homework for this uh, assignment is to... Stripes, 12 ball, okay. I didn't know that. I thought she called the other ball. Now our problem is the 14 and 9. Don't know if the 11 goes in clean between the 9 and 13. She has the 10 and the 15 if she needs it. I know she doesn't want to have to give up either one of them because they're both protecting pockets. <coughs> Guess if you have to give up one, I'd take the 10 first. Try to get a bit, come out for a better position. She might shoot the 11 in the side. Mm, safety. But nothing safe when you've shooting. She can easily play the 4 in the side. I don't know if she can see the 3 ball. Looks like she can. And play safe. Doesn't go. It's a smart shot though. So I'm sure Katie will either... She can actually shoot that 13 with some inside here. And open up that uh, 9, 14, 6. So if it, uh, the four ball is a potential problem for her with the 13 block. It. So she you know, have to either break it out or try to get underneath it and shoot it up the table when the time comes. No, yeah, she can actually get, shoot the seven now. Come around and give herself an opportunity. Problems with the four. She didn't. Uh, she didn't clear the four out. Smart shot. I don't know if the f two blocks to fifteen or not. That was actually a really nice shot as far as um, putting the cue ball behind the one. If the 15 doesn't go, she can certainly come off the 15 with a lot of right spin, send it a down table, the two 15 pings back into the two. It does clear, but from where she's at, she can't pocket it, but the safety may be the shot. Conservative than um, 
the same shot as mine, uh, but on a much more conservative side, so nothing wrong with that at all. She's content with just trying to <laughs> lock up all the pockets with her balls, which is very smart. But Katie's got a uh, nice safety shot here. 13 into the 4. She can actually bank the 14 into the 4 and um, stop the cue ball behind the 8 and take away both 1 and 2. And I'll give her a shot. That's a good shot. Good leave. Oh no. Look at what you did with the one though. Put it down by the 11. So now, if I'm shooting, I'm shooting the 4 into the 15, making the 2, playing safe, putting her in, locking it up. Or the nine or the two or oh, the 14 she can't shoot so she'll have to shoot the nine into the uh, 15 make the two keep the cue ball behind the 14 and you're in, she's in uh, the driver's seat wow great just, she's thinking like a champion right now and she is a champion she's last year's defending champion she's trying to repeat and she's in the driver's seat. Still a great shot, though. She didn't get it behind the 14, but she... I think Eva can actually clip the edge of the one. I don't think she can do anything with it, but... So now if Katie can come off the edge of the 15 and knock the two in... She's in good position. If not, you come off the 13, try to freeze on the back of the 14. That's what she's looking at. Coming off the 13. You'd love to just freeze to the 14. Oh. I thought she was going the other way. I'm not a fan of that necessarily. I think she had other options. But she's still in control of the table here. See the one, shoot the three ball combo, pocket the two. Now she's uh, going to go back and try and tie him balls up and uh, keep Katie from getting a shot. Her toughest shot here is the 14. I 
don't know if she has an angle to shoot the 11 and kind of stun the Q over between the 14 and 1 to possibly shoot the 14 next, but that's what she's going to do, or try. to open up the, the, uh, the pocket for the 14. I'm not even opposed to shooting the 14 right now. Loose because she knew she was going towards the side pocket. Or is that, or she was trying to hold it even more to make 13 a little bit easier. But now it's a th real thin, thin cut on the uh, 13. So it's all about the speed here. Is she kicking? Oh, you know what? I forgot about that 12 ball. Never mind. straight in on that 14 so she can just draw back for the 8. I got a little bit, uh, I got a little bit dicey. My man Calback, what's going on, brother? It's a long day, but it's a great day. Cinch the shot. Get out to the middle of the table or even come across. Oh, beautiful shit. She was able to kill that ball. That's even better. This is for the championship. Congratulations, Katie Bowes, back-to-back eight-ball champions for the ladies' division. What a tremendous, she just played lights out. The, the victory of a, a total of eight to one in the finals. I believe she won four one in the first set and four nothing in the second set. She just did amazing. So, uh, Congratulations, Katie Bose, who are our ladies' champion. Yvette Fernandez for our runner-up this year. Uh, Yvette played lights out. She played a tremendous uh, tournament, wins the hot seat match, has to sit and wait. Katie comes back grinding through, gets the win in the, for the big victory for Katie for back-to-back -back wins. I want to also congratulate uh, Dave Stem for second place in the men's eighth ball division and our new men's champion, Wesley White. So with that, guys, we are going to call it a night. We'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning to start our nine ball. 
I'm Gary G with Extreme Pool Challenge. We're live from Kissimmee, Florida for the 2022 West Coast Challenge. So got a call tonight. Good night. This is uh, Gary saying sleep well and we will see you bright and early in the morning. I'm out.